basic bitch setup. <laughs> Sup? I like the new shirt, man. Yeah. I was showing yeah. my wife how to make these shits, and then I was like, so you, I got you put it to work. Let me make one too. <laughs> right. I got that same kind of cup. Oh, man. It's necessary. I was drinking out of it last night while I was playing video games. Keeps my coffee hot, man. I need it today. I got some uh, extra shit I need to do uh, for the week. You doing sounds... anything tonight or tomorrow? No, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's t- Tuesdays. Yeah, Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays, I'm trying to do a lot earlier, like seven, so I can kind of, if I do get in the spirit to keep going, I can. But, bro, I was like, for the first time, I was like, nigga, I need a gaming chair. My back, my back was killing my old ass. Oh, man, shit. Look, this shit. You know, my goddamn nerves. Bro, you better than me, though, because uh, I got a, the old whack-ass fold-out chairs with the couch pillow on the bottom for my ass. It's bad. Yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not. It's real out here, bro. Because nigga, I'm sitting here like I could like how? Because uh, everybody's like playing video games ain't hard. I'm like, no, it's not because you could lay on the couch and do whatever and shit. But like, nigga, when you gotta stay in camera, oh my god, it's a whole yeah. other kind of workout for your old ass tendons and bones and shit. Shit, I damn. Since I got like a delay on this monitor right here in mm-hmm. front of me. It kind of makes it hard to play like Call of Duty and shit because damn, it's a little bit of a, a slight latency. It fucked me up every time, and it's just yeah. Well, the you gotta screen look is up the screen. here. So I'm I gotta get way back yeah. in shit. I <laughs> mean, I go. I know I'm guilty of looking up, but it's like fuck it at, the, at this point. You know what I mean? Sue me, like buy me better shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, like, oh, the sheep behind you. Bip, 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 bip. It's like, yeah, okay, well, buy me one. Shut, shut the fuck up, or or have a or have a channel yourself. Yeah, you know I mean, like, and then you can talk about whatever the fuck my setup is. But like, you know, donate, motherfucker, so I can buy better shit. Mm-hmm. I'm getting there, man. It's a little bit surely, dog. God bless people like you and um our listeners and stuff. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. You're doing yeah. that thing where you like you already started recording and we already going. Yeah, it's already recorded. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I was like, that's why I chose my words carefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you remember that dirty bastard from Comic Palooza? Remember that, that sorry motherfucker. Remember that filthy whore we met in the back of the IHOP by the dumpsters? <laughs> I don't know. You know, the, the drunk bitch slipping on uh, uh, <laughs> boysenberry syrup? I don't know. IHOP is a little too classy for whores. You said Waffle House. <laughs> uh, Waffle House, yeah. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're in a class. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Sir. your finest international house of pound cake. Yeah. S- scallop, please. Sir, oh, are God. you enjoying this whore? <laughs> <laughs> the finest skip scop I've ever had in my life, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. Uh, I guess I do an intro, maybe. Yeah, yeah I mean it's whatever, bro. I suppose. Uh, I'm just glad to finally be on, man. This is, I appreciate this, man. This is nice. Word. Well, um, yeah, we just gotta get get in with Randy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How are y'all doing this with no headset? I need to figure this out. Oh uh, well, with um, like Zoom or any of those other secondary freaking um you know third party recording things or whatever i just play it through my speakers and i can just hear you but it doesn't do like the double echo audio thing no shit yeah so because you got a mixer right not really no i have a a zoom i use uh this shit i mean the same thing yeah but it sounds uh, excuse me it sounds garbled as shit sorry everybody who had to listen to that but uh it sounds garbled as shit um, cause it's coming through the speaker of this shit. Now I have a, uh, a sound bar I could plug up, but I'm afraid that might be too loud. Uh, with the, cause like right now I'm not using uh, the screen as you gave me. Cause I'll be like looking up at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of angle. To, I don't know. I don't know if I could use that as of right this instant. Cause it's like, I need a, a different setup where I can sit a little bit higher. Cause that shit is like 
towering on this uh, little desk I got. I, oh. it, the, the the table I'm using is the table that black people play spades on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. So the legs are weak. Like, if I touch this thing, it's just like, oh, please. I've been through so much. So many games of dominoes. and <laughs> I was so warned, sir. <laughs> seen a lot. I've seen a lot of meaty-ass forearms from, <laughs> from black dudes who could barbecue ribs slam no. upon me. The only thing that I didn't like about that monitor was I couldn't take the um, the base plate off if I wanted to mount it on a wall or something mm, like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I don't even think it mattered. I was just like, fuck it. I found like an old nightstand, not a nightstand, an old computer desk that had just enough width and depth for me to sit it right on there properly. And that's how I used it whenever I was using it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it on top of the system because it's like, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm just gonna slap it on top of that bitch. So I, I don't know, cause I'm gonna get an L-shaped desk and then like try to figure out what the fuck like after the fact. But just lay, it, just uh, put it right here in front of you in your lap and just kind of lean it back. And... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody know the difference. That'd be a pretty cool stream to watch though. Like look at this, look at this raggedy mother. Hey man, I seen somebody. Well, I didn't see anybody. I saw a meme. It was a picture of it. Motherfucker had a cell phone and a mirror set up like. A mirror to catch the, his face in another mirror so they can see him on the camera. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, man. It's recording all of it. No, no, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, respect to everybody who who gives it a shot and tries, man, because it's like, it's a crapshoot. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, you got people who have, like, all the money in the world and, like, just throw it, you know, just throw it at whatever it is but have no will to continue it on and then it just... It's just whatever. Then you got people who ain't got jack shit. And they're like the funniest people alive. Yeah. You got people, you know, like they're in, in between, it, you know, and, and it's all about like, you know, lightning just has to strike in your fucking direction for shit to pop off, real, you know, realistically. But then like, but nowadays things happen so, you know, uh, fast and you're gone so quick. It's like, you might as well just slowly build up. You know what I mean? Because like, if you're just a flash in the pan and you got like, all you had was that one video that was hot. And you ain't got nothing else, then you gonna go right back in obscurity, bro. And it's like, it's tough, man. How, like, what the fuck? Be, you be like a that chocolate rain motherfucker, <laughs> bro. Tayzonde, man. Shout out to Tayzonde, yeah. But, but Tayzon, you know, that, but that's sheer accident. You know what I mean? And he, I mean, shout out to him getting that Dr Pepper uh, deal though. Like that one time. I mean, you know, what I mean, like that, that's like that's the ape. That's as far as you go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like if I <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I won't be mad if I do a commercial with a little sweet one day or some shit, but like at the same time in the back of my head, I'm like, nah, this is not what I want. I want something that will like I like a small groundswell that's happening right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm very appreciative of it. And like I hope I could just maintain this. Like like as long as the limbo line is like where my knees don't blow out, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the fact that like I'm finally at the point now where people will make like a goofy ass meme and like put it out there. Like I, I that is like, that was like a, a goal of mine. Like, man, I hope people just look at some shit and just make some like goofy ass photo art and shit and put it up and they do it. And I'm like, ah, yeah. So shout out to uh, Dean Jennings to do that. Uh, uh, Rito from Rito's Modern Life. He does it. Uh, who else does it? That's kind of it really, but still. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's somebody it's something, yeah, it's something. I mean I'll, I'll get like DMs and shit you know what I'm saying but like when people actually put shit to like uh, 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 you know photoshop or paint.net nigga, I, I gotta give them a shout out yeah she yeah a lot. that shit was funny as hell I think where you, that one where you was walking outside and you had the sun in your face and shit he was oh, like niggas, yeah yeah <laughs> when people repurpose my own photo at me like it one thing I do like um, about my my old you know my quote unquote persona is like you know I, I'm not above people like fucking with me man like it's I prefer it you know what I mean I don't want to be like oh I'm the coolest motherfucker this side of the block I'm not I never have been bro like you know what I'm saying so it's like if somebody knocks me down a pig it's like I expect it like if I, if I if I get nothing but praise I'm gonna panic I'm not gonna feel comfortable at all He's like, oh, at all the pressure because <laughs> y'all were giving me the business that stream dog. <laughs> That shit was hilarious, bro. Y'all were giving me the business. I was like, well, all I could do is just, you know, uh, be uh, Raymond. Or everybody's love Raymond. Just be like, well, you guys, come on, guys. <laughs> Let's, just play. Let's just play the game, guys. Christ. Oh, shit. Y'all but- were digging in my cheeks, bro. That shit was hilarious, dog.
I gotta get that. Uh, I gotta make sure I, I don't fuck up that uh, sound again. I don't know what happened, bro, for that stream. That pissed me off, man. But yeah. we're gonna be doing it again. You know that, right? Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I skim through it or whatever. I, I look in there and be like, all right, they ain't talking about too much. And then I come back and be like, thirty-eight paragraphs of dialogue. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I know. I know. We, we like that, that's the curse of the chat, ain't it? And at the curse of the chat thread, it's like you try to make a chat thread. You're like, all right, that's the only chat thread I'll have. And then like cut to six years later, it's like I have like 17 different chats and I'm not, I'm like an asshole in all of them. I'm just not in them. I'm just, I just got my coat and my shades. I'm just off in the corner. What are you doing? Oh, he's asleep. Yeah. He's the <laughs> guy fat. on the couch. Yeah, I'm, I'm fat Thor in like every, <laughs> every meeting dog just out. Just done. Yeah, but when it's time to party up, it's Leroy Jenkins. I don't know oh, what the oh, fuck oh, going man. on, but it's ah, yeah. who we're doing it. Yeah, bro. So uh I had somebody tell me I had a dominating personality. Um and that really threw me off. No, it's just you, you think care. I <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It, Cause it, it, it gets weird, doesn't it? Cause like cause like, okay, even with you and the stuff that you're doing, you know what I mean? Like you're you're very forthright in what you do, and you're very like People can say that you're aggressive uh, with how you promote yourself, but at the same time, it's like, but it's passion. You're passionate about it, right? Like, mm. well, why is it? Because I remember, uh, you know, I, I lost co-host uh, because of how serious I was taking it. Yeah, and I'm just like, wasn't that? Isn't that the point, though? You know what I mean? So it, it, it's like a weird. You don't know if you're Ahab or if you're Captain America. Sometimes and you like, you know, you, you kind of have to like check and be like, okay, well, which am I? Like, am I? Am I? Am I going to get drugged to the bottom of the fucking ocean with this shit? Or am I going to just like, you know, be old sitting on the bench, satisfied from knocking down some big titty uh, chicken, for, uh, you know, that I got back for the past. <laughs> we know which one I want. Right. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I, I feel like not eventually I'm going to be Ahab. I feel like I'm going to fall off or something. And I'm just going to like drive everybody away. And I'm just going to, it's just going to be the angry black man podcast. This old curmudgeon. I remember when Nichols was made of wood and. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't tell me shit. Like, uh, okay. We, nobody, one, one download and it's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me checking to see if it uploaded. <laughs> yeah. Did it work? Make, All right. Try. Make sure I edit that shit right. I mean, that's what it was in the beginning, right? Like, make sure this shit sound right. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, did you? Okay. I got to ask you a question. Yes, yes, yes. So, like, have you ever hated your own voice? Because you have the most melodious of tones. And I, 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 there's days I try to, like, channel it when I can hear myself in the mic. But I know I can't. Get, I, can't <laughs> I can't. I can't hit them registers, bro. Like, like a, chick could, a chick could pull a Howard Stern and, like, sit on a, 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 a speaker if she wanted to. And you just say a sentence and it's a rap for them. Like, it's just waterfalls. And I, mean, I talk, <laughs> chick just 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 leaves the room, just done with it. Well, I like, don't know. It's just um Did you ever hate your voice? You ever listen, baby, like, oh, that's what I sound like? Has that ever happened to you? I don't think it has. No, no. Um I just in the beginning of the podcast, it was more of like, you know, I guess me trying to get comfortable with it. it, it like I didn't have a problem hearing it. It was just the execution of what I was doing. It's just like, if you ever listen to the first episode of this show, you will hear me say podcast in the first episode, maybe 30 something times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the podcast. And this is my podcast. And the podcast one, is about the this <laughs> Episode one is always weird because like every, you realize everyone's realizing like, oh, this is permanent. Like this is out here. Like, like a random person will hear what my thoughts are. And if I say the dumb shit, then it's a, it's a problem. At the same time, you're also like, hello, universe. It is I. Like, I, I remember I spelled my fucking uh, username. Like, it mattered. Like, someone's going to write it down on some paper. Who gives a fuck? Like, it was just like, yeah, this is whatever. And, I, I, and to this day, I regret this being my, uh, my little tag name or whatever. Because it's like, I was lazy. It's my gamer tag. Yeah. That's it. There's, I just didn't know what to think. I, I, and then... Uh, my co-host at the time had a very long name. It was Mr. B and Black. I was like, well, that's super long. Let me just, uh, I, I got I to gotta counteract that with something quick. I was like, this. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I thought, I thought it was so smart. Mm -hmm. And then, like, as time passed, I was like, that was a bad call. I should have just said my fucking name. But I think I also wanted to be, like, a, like anonymous to some degree because I felt like I may say something inflammatory. Yeah. Now, that's a question I would like to ask you as well is um, you've, 
hosted a number of episodes and everything. And, you know, <laughs> there's been areas to where, you know, you've said some stuff out of, you know, it was out of comedy or whatever, but did, yeah. did you ever feel like there was some things on the show that you said that you was like, well, wow, fuck, why did I leave that in or anything like that? Um, not or Do you pretty much catch it in the editing? Usually I catch it in the editing. Usually there, there, there is some type of checks and balance of, you know, can people, the people know I'm playing in context, but at the same time, you know, there was a lot of growing up I had to do, you know, like I, I didn't know um, the word tranny was derogatory. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea. I said it once. It wasn't like, uh, you know, I said it in jest, but I was talking about, uh, I think, Audrey and Little Shop of Horrors. Mm -hmm. And I made that comment, and my wife was like, you can't say that. I was like, say what? Like, I was completely ignorant, had no clue. Mm -hmm. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, that's a derogatory comment. I was like, oh, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt legit bad about it, but it was already too late. Yeah. And I was like, well, all I can do is, you know, uh, continue the body of work showing that I do care and, you know, and there's certain words I won't say, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like there's certain, there's certain, <laughs> I made a joke about like how everybody used to say, you know, the F-bomb, not, not fuck, but like oh, everybody, used to say, everybody used to say the F-bomb until Kobe got fined. And then everybody was like, wait a minute, hold on, we need to, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, Kobe got fined. How much? We might need to chill out with that, y'all. This is, this probably ain't the word to say. And, um, and it's, it's, uh, it, there's a lot of stuff I try to be mindful but I try to poke fun at, you know, my people and myself enough to where they could kind of see where it's coming from. But like context yeah. more or less is dead nowadays. Um, and it's like, you know, you have to be genius funny for it to maybe kind of sort of slide. Mm -hmm. But like, I hate how the fact that people can't, people take everything so fucking serious. Yeah. And the fact that they hold comedians or like, I'm not, I'm not claiming comedians, but people who are, tr are trying, who have the intentions of being, comedic in whatever presence they're doing and for them to get their feet held to the fire but then people who are actually in positions of power have none of those checks and balances i think is whack as fuck now i'm not gonna be like oh you know because uh, I, I, it's a slippery slope you got people like, oh i hate pc this and that and this it's like no there's a place and time for that shit like yeah. i love being politically correct like i feel like it's necessary to do so but if i'm doing a podcast talking about killer nerd or fucking uh uh, Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus, um, shit's gonna be said. Yeah, we, you know we should like, have a little leeway there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you knew what the fuck you got into with this episode. Like, don't like you're not gonna get every blue moon. You'll get some break. You know, some serious ass commentary from this. But, but in all reality, like, come the fuck on. I, I remember uh, there was one movie though. We were like, we're not playing around with this because we didn't see it. We never like we we heard of the movie. It's always flying around in like cult cult movie uh, circuits and whatnot. People talk about this movie. We never saw it. We didn't know necessarily what it was going to be about. And it was uh, I Spit on Your Grave. Oh, yeah. And we yeah. both didn't watch it until the night of recording because we were like behind. And this is when we're doing, we weren't a week ahead at this time. So it was yeah. like, it's either we record this or we're fucked. And that was the only day we had that, that we were both available. And Randy was like, I think I made a mistake. I was like, yeah, no, 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 no. We fucked up. I was like, we fucked up. <laughs> I was like, we fucked up. But we got to, we got to, he's like, I'm not going to make jokes. I don't think I can make jokes about this. I said, like, who the fuck said we're going to make jokes? They ain't nothing to joke about this. Like, it was, bro, it was bad. Like, the whole movie was just one sexual assault or a yeah. series of them. And it's like, yeesh, what do you do? And it's like, you know, you, that was a learning experience for me as far as like, okay, well, you know, there's no movie that we can't not do. Yeah. Um, you know, because, like, certain movies deserve a tone shift. You know what I mean? Certain movies deserve uh, a certain type of attention. And, like, I don't like throwing out the word rape a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. like I, I, I've noticed I had enough self conscious to be like, all right, assault. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or if somebody says the R word a little too much, I'll just go, boop, to, you know, like, God bless editing. Like, I ain't never just try to do, like, a lot of live shit uh, because I know how I am at times. Or, or if, uh, you know, somebody, somebody would say some shit that's, like, it's funny. I'll put it this way. If you hear if, if you hear the edit, if you hear like a sound drop come in or a long pause of music come in, it's bad. But it's <laughs> yeah. like child, it's childish bad to where I'll keep the reactions of like what the dumb shit was said. You know what I'm saying? So like whenever that happens, it's like it was just a really childish ass joke, but it was still probably like fuck us up in the long run. So it's better just not to do it. <laughs> but uh you know, but like, of course, when, like when it's yourself, everything's fair game. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's no, there's no, there's no uh, pullback with that. But I think another time I felt bad, I went hard on <laughs> some chick's breast in the Warriors. Oh, you went hard on it? 
No, nah, not like that. Like in a bad <laughs> way. Like, uh, cause her boobs were like smashed up weird. Yeah. And like, I wouldn't stop clowning them. And I, I felt like that was a little much. I, I think I went a little too hard on that, but that was like 32 year old me. Wasn't fully mature yet. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, but I'm not, it was more like her titties weren't big enough. That was my issue. Yeah. These aren't to my standard. These are not to my liking, therefore they're trash. And it's yes. like, you should go to the Waffle House. <laughs> Get away from my IHOP. Take these three grit packets and four biscuits and be on your way, madam. Gain that weight. <laughs> like, <laughs> once you're nervous to get on the scale, come back and talk to me. But it's, it's pretty much, but yeah, I mean, as, as far as like that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I don't have a lot of regrets of shit I've said. Um, nah, because, you know, like, you know, I, I, I meticulously edit. It's now to the point where I don't have to do it so much if I don't have a guest. Um, we we're, we're pretty good on that, thank yeah. God. And 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 that's another thing that I've seen. Just you know, talking with you, you know, behind the scenes about stuff and everything. You're an editing motherfucker. You, you 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 does all the edits. You do all the things and whatnot. What got you your start? What's your background? Did you go like to film school? Right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You no. just so I'm like bored. I I I check this out. So my wife was like, "You need to do something with this because um, SmackDown versus Raw." had it to where you could make your own entrance and you had access to all the camera angles you could put your own music in because it was 360 so you could time everything yes. meticulously and i was like me and a group of my friends gave all the fucks mm -hmm. when it came to that but like it was also like all right so not only is this my interest i gotta show out and make everybody who's in my group look like shit when we all do our we, we had like a made up federation so everybody had like five yeah. characters a piece and like uh you know each character had their own personality then we'll we'll cut promos and like uh you know do like uh uh you know regular shows and shit up to a pay-per-view like we literally did like a whole season we had a gm the whole nine we'll meet up because we had nothing but time that's where everybody had part-time jobs and yeah no girlfriends and shit so we just had all the time in the universe and uh yeah dude like once that game came out and they had that editor bro like i, I would pour over that shit for unnecessarily amounts of time, bro. And just like the lighting, all the other shit. And I was like, I wonder if I could do something with this. Cause then they had a, cause it could have had it to where you could play back the, the, the fight that you had and use that yeah, as a motherfucking, it. like for your fucking Titan Tron. I was like, shit. Oh, so like I, I was going, I was pouring over that shit. And uh, my wife was like, you really need to like fucking do something with this. This is ridiculous. Like the amount of work you're putting into this. It needs to be to something else. I was like, oh, I don't know what though, but what? And uh, after that was, I did a uh, relationship advice show. It wasn't my idea. My wife, my wife was God bless her. She was trying to get me to go in some kind of direction to be creative with this shit. And this is like, oof, like 2011 or so. And it was a YouTube show that I had where basically, okay, so basically what, what happened was like her friends will ask me questions about guys and I don't care about her friends. So I will tell them very bluntly um, <laughs> As what should. it is. Yeah. What it is. And it's like, you know, like there's no trade secret. I'm sorry. He's lying to you. You know what I'm saying? And it was just, usually that should be a show, but like what I'll do is I'll be very blunt, but then we'll have a skit and like, we'll do a little film skit, whatever the fuck we talk about. Cause we're getting the email and it did decent, but then um, I didn't want to do it anymore because one of the videos they had like a lot of hits was um why do black men date white women and i've never i never have and yeah, i couldn't answer so, that question so like yeah. i was on sixth street um sorry i was on sixth street and uh in austin and it was like saint patrick's day so i was like i'm just gonna do man on the street you know what i'm saying and i goof around like it's still clown right so like yeah. the opening I ran into these bunch of rappers little young kids rappers and shit uh i forgot the fucking name diplomatic something and I'm I'm off the cuff. So this is our opening thing where I'm like, ba 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 ba. This is the question. I don't know. I gotta ask these motherfuckers. Da 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 da. And I saw a black like as I'm doing the intro, I see a black girl sleep in the car. And I move over. I was like, get this real quick. I say, if y'all stop sleeping on a nigga, maybe I'll be okay. And I, I shouldn't have did that. Everybody was like, oh, like wilding out. But like the, the whole the rest of the video beyond that one clip was literally me being very serious. And it was like a documentary style. Like I did voiceovers and shit. I played the, the music group that I met, music in the background and shit. 
And I'm asking people, I'm asking both black women and black men, you know, why they think that's the case and took it very serious. And like the ending message was like, you know, find who loves you. Yeah. Period. But they, everyone fixated on the part on me clowning, even though that's always been my thing. And then like the, the comments were just insanity though. Cause this is before I knew how toxic the world was. Like I used to think, you know, shit like that happened in January 6th would never happen in, in ever in life. Like at that point in time, you know, I, I, I trusted everybody. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm just seeing all this crazy shit. And somebody was like, yo, keep doing videos like that. You get, cause I had like 30,000 views or some crazy shit on that one fucking question. Cause it's just, and I'm just like, people are just out here just searching for this. Like, is that serious? And I didn't like it. I didn't like how I felt. I didn't like anything that was associated with it at all. And I just, I just wasn't with it. And I was like, that, uh, it's not the type of shit I wanted to do Yeah. anyway. And I just backed off it and just uh, didn't do shit for a while. And I think I did, uh, I did like a couple of open mics, but I knew I didn't have what it took to like commit to that fully as far as like income and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, I'm going to put it right through the ringer, you know, trying to do that. And I was just like, well, what else can I do? And then I always talk shit during movies. Like, only at, ho- at the house, not, yeah. not in public. You know, I'm a human being. Don't bring your babies to theaters, you pieces of shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, but, you know, if I'm with the wife or whatever, or my friends or whatever, like, you know, we'll, we'll say some sly shit while the movies are playing or whatever. And I was like, well, maybe I could do something like that. And I was trying to think of, like, okay, what can I do that will be cost effective um, and evergreen at the same time? Where I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, expiring like they could check yeah. back and it'll still work and i was like movies i wanted to do video games because i was like i was an avid gamer yeah and i wanted to do video game shit but i was just like i ain't got the money to fucking do that I said, Plus, video game. right and, and i don't have the video equipment either to back all that shit up so i was like nah that's not gonna work so movie podcast it was and i figured like it'll work because a lot of this shit i've never seen before or I have no um, background in it whatsoever. So you kind of get like a first, you know, a first impression most times of uh, some of these fucking movies and shit. Plus it's a black perspective, which isn't like a, you know, a, a common thing with some of these movies that are mm-hmm. quote unquote cult classics, you know, cause we got our cult classics, you know, coming to America, color yeah. purple juice, you know what I'm saying? But like, they're like, you haven't seen red dawn. It's like, who, why, <laughs> when, <laughs> like, it's like in what, in what scenario, you know, being like in rural, Mississippi would you fucking like somebody bring up Red Dawn you know what I'm saying that's black mm-hmm. and uh or you know seeing Thriller a bunch of times I really did a Thriller episode you know what I'm saying it, it's coming eventually <laughs> we're gonna do Thriller eventually but I'm just saying like like those are our uh you know uh uh not Sugar Hill um New Jack City yeah you know what I'm saying Passenger 57 like like these are the black cult movies that we talk about all the time and it's like you know there was a lot of you know I've never seen Bad Taste or uh, evil deads until like re- like I was a full grown adult, you know what I mean? It was just a lot of shit I just never fucking heard of or was not, you know, like none of it. Even with um, I gotta admit I've never seen Back to the Future two or three, and I've seen like the ass in the Back to the Future. That's it. Damn. It's just it just it just don't come, bro. It don't come up. <laughs> uh, like, wait, what are you waiting on? <laughs> you seen Coming to America? It's like yeah, I, I mean I, I'm basically waiting on. Whenever the fuck it comes, you know, like when it's a good time to do it on the show. It's it's been a good time, and I missed it because I didn't know the exact date that was gonna happen. Yeah, the Back to the Future. Like I don't fucking know, dude. And it's like, and a lot of people, oh, you call yourself a cool. Like no, it's it's, a, it's all a learning experience. Like 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 as far as the type of movie watcher I was when I started the show to what I am now, mm-hmm. like you can hear it. You know what I mean? And also, if I'm annoyed by some shit, it's because I'm tired of it from all the, you know, 200 some odd fucking episodes. I'm like, oh, here, 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 here come the fucking mirror gag. Or here come the ba da ba 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 And I got to give props to um, uh, my friend, John Hernandez, uh, Sonny Chips, who was a past uh, host, and Randy, because they have actual backgrounds in film stuff. So I'm like learning from them when they call out certain things or terminology and shit. Like it's all like, you know, new information for me. And that makes me like a better movie watcher. So like it, it's, it's dope. Uh, just the whole the whole experience is dope. I think that's why it hasn't gotten stale for me yet because it's still like it's new shit. I'm not like running back on shit that I know mm-hmm. at the back of my head. I don't know what it's called. I mean, I, I mean, I know it's a nuance or just like I call it actor ticks and everything. I don't know when I started picking up on this shit or whatever, mm-hmm. but I would watch 
you know, certain actors because they do more than one thing, you know, right. you, may, you may know an actor from a certain show from watching a series or some shit like that, but they do other things. And um, most recently, one that I've noticed, have you ever seen the show uh, Warrior? It's on a Cinemax, HBO Max. I need to watch that. Like, I just uh, finished season sh- two. Shout out, shout out to Drago. He put a, a clip for me to see and I was like, why am I not watching this shit? Yeah, I just, me and my wife just finished it. Okay. But the main character has this tick or just, just this little thing he does where he winks at everybody all the fucking time. Word. Like he just, you know, you wink at him. You know, even especially after he say some slash, some slick shit or whatever. Oh, okay. You know, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like, kinda like Vince Vaughn. He, he, he does a Vince Vaughn. Yeah. But he does it in instances to where a wink would not be <laughs> oh, appropriate, word. I guess. And I was just like, I was like, you don't notice that? She's like, notice what? This motherfucker always winking and shit, you know? Or um, what I like to watch in certain actors or whatever, whenever they have those scenes to where they look in each other in the eyes or whatever, some people's eyes will just kind of be moving back and forth and shit. Yeah. And I, I just notice little shit like that. I was like, why do their eyes do like that? When I talk to you, my eyes don't go back and forth. Why does this? Oh, this I, no, I, thing me. No, I do it. I, I, I have a weird thing about eye contact sometimes. I'll just like avert and just look somewhere. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Maybe I'm weak. I don't know. But, <laughs> but um, I just know you're not supposed to do that with a dog or whatever. If you stare a dog in the eyes, you're supposed to look, you're supposed to look at them till they look away. You don't look away from the dog. <laughs> it could be it. I could just be uh, just too many gang ass motherfuckers in my vicinity. I'm like, I can't make eye contact. Oh, this oh. nigga is. I gotta hurry up and get out of here. Is, uh, I'm wearing a blue shirt and I don't know what type of neighborhood this is. Right. Even though he's in middle school, this nigga look 35 years old. Let me not uh <laughs> Let me not make it obvious that I know that he's old. Mm. But uh no, nah, I've noticed uh like Brad Pitt eats a lot in his stuff. Mm. Uh Tom Hank pees a lot in his movies, which is weird. Um Especially like the Green Mile when he had that issue. <laughs> yeah, he had the piss issue, but then when he was Forrest Gump, he had to go pee. Mm. Um God damn it. Uh Big. When he peed, it was like a whole fucking it was a whole thing. It's weird, bro. It's weird, like, it, it, and and you never notice it until somebody points this shit out, and then you can't unsee it. You're just like, oh fuck, like this whole fucking time. And, and then another thing to that point as well is, is um, actors before they were famous, I guess to an extent or whatever. So you know, we sitting here, we watching all these Marvel movies. You got uh Chris Evans and all these guys, and you know, big name stars now. And I just went back because of the ten year anniversary of Scott Pilgrim. And he's in that movie. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't even know that motherfucker was in here. Yeah, bro. That's what I love about Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim has Captain America, Superman, Captain Captain Marvel. Marvel, uh, Fuck. Somebody else is in there, dude. Uh, The Punisher. Yeah. Thomas Jane comes out of nowhere. Now the vegan police. (laughs) Milk and eggs, bitch. Uh, (laughs) Oh, fuck. Um, Huntress. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, She looks the same all this time later, and I didn't even... Bro, I can't... No, no, no. I could not... I did not know that was her. Somebody had to tell me that was her. I have the worst case of white lady face blindness. Well, is that's the thing, too. Like, in the span of a week, I watched all these movies, and she was in all of them, and I didn't even know it was her. No. So. You, 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 you like, she... Even though she is tall as the fuck, she blends into, like, whatever role she plays, and like it just... It just does not dawn on me at all. Like yeah. it, it took me a minute to realize that Envy Adams was Captain uh, Marvel. I was like, oh yeah, wait a minute, because she sounds like a straight porn star in Scott Pilgrim, mm-hmm. which is. Mm. But <laughs> <laughs> especially when she starts singing that song on at the um, um, show. Oh did, yeah. <laughs> did you see the outtake of her? Nah. Wh- oh, she busts her whole ass one take when she was doing that performance. She like just fell off the stage. It's hilarious. Like oh, I can't, noted. I can't not see it. Whenever I see the movie, doc, but uh, dude, I let my son watch it. Uh, my little five-year-old watched that movie recently. He, it's like the greatest movie you've ever seen in his fucking life. I know. I just introduced the ten-year-old to that movie, and the, before, because I had it came out in what two thousand ten, yeah, and right about- I watched it maybe once or twice when it originally came out, like on Blu-ray or some shit like that. It was mm-hmm. one of the earlier Blu-rays that I owned, so I always had it in the collection, but I never watched it since then. Right. And, and um, another guy had me on the show as a guest, and we wanted to. He wanted to review that movie, so oh, I, nice. okay. I, I still had the uh, digital download in my Apple account, so I pulled it up on my phone when I had a little bit of time, and I watched that shit twice back to back. 
And I was like, wow. It's just fucking I, good. It's, it's one of, it's one of my top 10, easy, one of my top 10, like, favorite movies of all time. Because there's, there's like, just, yeah. just so much to it. Like, the, you know, because like me being a, a video game head and, like, uh, the, the heavy game influence, um, all the little, like, little cues and shout outs. Even and shit. the sound effects. Yes. But, dude, when Chris Evans come out, uh, like, his, <laughs> when he's like, whatever action movie he's in, and he's like walking in, everything's all exploded and shit. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, the next click you're gonna hear is me pulling the trigger. <laughs> the next click you're gonna hear is me hanging up the phone. The next click you're gonna hear is me pulling the trigger. <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah, dude. And then he's like, and then um, uh, just the, the, the whole, every sequence he was in, because he wanted to play the Universal song again, and he does the neck pop on beat and shit. Mm-hmm. And just, like, and he, he committed to that role, bro. It's just like, he, you bought him as that douchebag Lucas Lee, bro. It is just, he's like, I, it's called a grind, bro. And I'm not, I'm not gonna do that shit, it's dangerous. He's like, girls are watching. He's I'm like, oh, 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 give me my board. Give me my board, give me my board. Like whatever voice he was using was fucking hilarious, bro. bro. I mean, what was also great about that or whatever, he's like, so you didn't, you didn't know about the league? He's like, oh, well, it's cool. Oh yeah. Boom! <laughs> Oh, got you. He's like, you are a good actor. This is just hilarious. Dude, and then Br- Brandon Ralph murders that shit. Mm-hmm. God, dude. Like, he's just... I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad they didn't let him be Superman again. Like, granted, they the did the crossover whack. event thing. I didn't... Uh, but I, I, I've been so behind on the CW shit. I just... I never... I, I didn't I've to never watch watched it. a single episode. Watch season one of Arrow and then walk away. The only reason I was interested in Arrow for a time, because Cody Rhodes was on a couple episodes earlier yeah, he on. Was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And, and Stephen um, Mill. Cause Stephen Mill, I, I gotta get props. As yeah. far as as far as uh uh like celebrity cameos are concerned in wrestling, Stephen Mill could have worked. Yeah. Cause cause uh I, I saw I saw it on Instagram recently. And like Cody Rose as a stardust or whatever, like pops uh, 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 Steve and Steve was like, what? And he jumps over the fucking barricade and just leaps onto the ring. And I'm like, wow, that Sam ladder ain't no joke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, he, he had a match with them. It wasn't, it was all right. And then he also had a match with uh, AEW when they what? first. Yeah, he had a match against Christopher Daniels. And he Steve Amell? Was- Yes, even the male. You went through a table and do all kind of crazy. I shit. gotta watch that shit, bro. Cause yeah. he's he's pretty fucking. I mean, like in comparison to you know, uh, Carl Malone and fucking Dennis Rodman, <laughs> Dennis Rodman right? <laughs> and fucking Leno. <laughs> yeah, oh uh, yeah, bruh. Jesus. Yeah, like if Stephen Mel would have, dude, if Stephen Mel was went back in time and, and did some shit on fucking WCW in the nineties, bro, legendary, dog. Legendary. Happy I did ready to rumble. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm in no rush to do that. At all. <laughs> the fact that they made that goofy ass uh, cage a real gimmick, like WCW was, ooh, they were falling off hard, bro. God. Yeah, damn, bro. I mean, they made the movie. Then they made the star of the movie the champion, and that wasn't the biggest problem. Like, 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 uh, uh, him winning, I get it. Is like you know sacrilege, but like not as bad as Vince Russo winning the belt, bro. That's just no, Vince McMahon trash. in the belt. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. That's different. I mean, because it's his company, right? <laughs> also, I mean, no, no, it's not. It's not just that. It's just the fact that like Vince Russo did it right after that. You know what I mean? And it's mm-hmm. like, I don't know, man. It, it it's because like, it's something because Vince. Vince capitalizing on the Montreal screw job and just becoming that guy. Yeah, is different than. Vince swerve on swerve on swerve Russo, swerving himself a belt. It's just like mm, it, it, it's not the same flavor, man. Like like certain certain people can get away with shit. Period. Point blank. Certain people can do certain things and get away with shit, and some people just can't do it. It just does not. It, you just can't get away with that crime, dog. Like like for him, for Vince to go hard on Bob Costas and like you know like take this shit to like actual weird. Is he playing? Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. Like Vince Russo is not that, bro. And like uh, nah. I got I got no respect for Vince. Bro. Had, had you been watching or uh, have you heard about it? I, I, I keep getting the title wrong, but it's very similar. To, uh, Something Dark like Tales from the Dark Side. Yeah, Dark, Dark yeah, Side yeah. of the Ring. Dark Side of the Ring. Yes. Dark Side of the um, Ring. Yeah. Bro, shout out to Jim Cornette, dog. 
this motherfucker right here. Jim like, Cornette, dog. Like, God damn, Jim. <laughs> Gun loaded in his lap at all times, bro. Jim Cornette be like, I swear to God, if I see that motherfucker, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear him like a condom and fuck him till he dies. Like, whoa, Jesus Christ, Jim. I'd never seen nobody. Uh, he borderline Jim Cornette wants to have sex with Vince Russo because there's no way you hate somebody that much without like a tinge of sexual frustration. Because he hates him a lot. A lot. Like he just want to emasculate him or whatever. Just, he probably would. Just show his dominance. I, I, you can see him do it right now. Like if he if he knocked Vince Russo down, you can see him like start fucking with his belt. Oh, you like, motherfucker. I'm gonna, I'm I'll show you. So like, long. Whoa, whoa, Jim. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tall, lanky ass walking up and down these fucking hallways. Like, uh, Jim? But uh, my favorite one, Easley's, uh, uh, God damn, what's that nigga name, bro? New Jack. Jesus. Oh. The New Jack one, bro. That's not for the faint of heart. Man, he said I had that, the, I broke off a claw from this little Wolverine thing I had. I just, I just stabbed that motherfucker. Bro, the way, the way that he just nonchalantly talks about attempted murder, dog, is like, and then he got that, 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 that soft, tissue that's just like a forever wound in his forehead as he's him, talking him and damn Devon <laughs> bro I'm so scared of Devon dog I remember uh I uh they, okay so because it works because it's, it's, it's a tangent so like uh a friend of mine you you've seen him uh UT Broward uh yeah. Chris Broward um he had an opportunity to do like a street team thing for a TNA to like you know enter a contest to win tickets to do a meet and greet yeah. and he was like yo b like 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 you know you want to do this with me i was like sure why the hell not so his idea was to go to a wwe event to push tna oh and we recorded ourselves do it right and we won we won we won the tickets to do the fucking thing but like they screwed us hard they weren't gonna give us jack shit basically and like you know chris Brown was a white dude and he's like I'm about to do some of this white magic. And I, I knew what he meant. <laughs> and he was dead at, like, it worked. Cause like, we got like, we got a personal meet and greet tickets and we got to be a part of the pay-per-view. I got to walk down the fucking ramp. Um, Cause it was a, uh, a, <laughs> a lumberjack strap match with LAX um, against uh, beer money. Holy shit. And you'll like, if you look up victory road, 08, you'll see me go down a, a fucking wrestling ramp. And uh, I got to hit uh, Bobby Roode with a fucking uh, strap. <laughs> Hold on. I'm about to look this shit up. Oh, look it up. Look it up. It's there. Well, I'm going to put it here in my notes so I don't forget. Yeah, yeah. It's there. It's, it's, uh, it, it was crazy because like, I got to meet uh, – because we got to cut a promo with um, Road Dog Jesse James. But what's funny is I'm probably the biggest person in that lumberjack match. And I'm not that large. I'm like six foot even, bro. And it's like there's like a, 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 a like a larger Latino lady. I think she got yeah. hit in the eye when during one one of the tapings. Cause everybody had the straps and they're going buck and she got popped in the face. But um yeah, I was like easily the tallest dude there, which was hilarious. And uh, I tried my damnest to hit him because like he because my friend Chris was gonna try to be like, yo, have a good match. And he's like, Don't hit me in the fucking face. We're like, we're gonna fuck him up. <laughs> fucking him up. I said we're fucking up on site. I said as soon as soon as he come my way, I'm gonna try my damn to hit this motherfucker. So I did like this Olay move because he tried to juke me, and I went with him and went kind of right on the back. And I was like, but uh, uh Devon was there, and he was like in pre match, and I was scared because he was like the door just cracked open, and all you see is just like Akuma steam coming off his body, bro. And I was like, <laughs> nope, want to no part of that. Uh, Jacqueline was there. Oh my god! And I, oh yeah, and I was just like, I was, like, I love you so much. That's all I can say. That's all I can say is, I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, if I could hug you, if you, if you, if y'all did hugs, I would need that. But I didn't get it. I didn't get the hug. So that's fine. I'm buttered about it. But uh, and also we met. Uh, we didn't meet him. We basically, Kevin Nash came out of nowhere. Cause this is like the good part of TNA when uh, yeah. because it was Booker T, Samoa Joe. That was like the main event. Um, Jeff Jarrett, we, we met Jeff Jarrett. Uh, we met Booker T. Uh, obviously, we met LAX. Uh, Road Dog Jesse James, we met him. Um, uh, Eddie Guerrero's dad. Who else? I felt like no, that's all. All the people worth mentioning, I remember. But like, we were waiting. Kevin Ash comes out of nowhere. 
and everybody treated that shit as if a, a actual lion just showed up on the fucking set, bro. Like, cause he's, he's just come, he doesn't have the long hair. So he just comes out, just walking slow. Everyone's quiet as fuck. He just looks at us, does that and just keep walking. We're like, that's the coolest motherfucker I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. <laughs> bro, he shut the whole air, like just the oxygen just, everybody just got quiet as fuck. I'm just like, oh, it's giving ass. And then like, cause it's like you're in awe but you also feel like if you were to sneeze, he'll just come over and just big boot you in the mouth. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, was the Kevin. But yeah, no, it was, it was, that was, uh, that was a weird and crazy fucking time, dude. Um, we got to watch the match, but like, then that's when I realized right then and there, like, I can't watch wrestling without commentary. Cause of course, we had a Russo finish, like a Russo type finish. And I was like, what happened? And everyone's just everyone in the crowd is like, what the, what the fuck is going on right now? I don't even know what's happening. And I was just like, yeah, I need commentary forever. So I was just, yeah. I feel like I was like, I'm watching all pay per views. I can't, I can't be there in person. But you, you've been there in person. Oh, for WrestleMania, been, like, is yeah. that even fun in real life? Like when I mean, I I know I know hearing the music and like seeing because uh, I remember I, I worked at SmackDown, um, as an event staffer, like the little yellow shirt dudes and shit. And like, God bless it, man. I, uh, I was able to I was able to like witness a Booker T intro, and just realize I don't understand how his back isn't just peeling off. All that heat and shit, yeah. Jesus Christ, Harlem Heat for real, dog. Like it's not a game. I'm like, I'm I'm on like the, I'm camera side, but on the corner. Yeah, what, is and this I'm in like, the Toyota Center. Uh, no, it was not. It was in the goddamn uh, uh, Reliant Arena. Oh, okay. Because it was SmackDown. It was just a basic. It was just a basic uh, show, and I was just like, "It's too hot for that pyro, goddamn!" And then, um, this is when Randy Orton was gonna fight Undertaker, so I got to see Undertaker and Randy because Randy came out of nowhere and on, on Raw, and like I, I, I fucked up. You know, if this staff ain't supposed to be watching the show, I was watching the goddamn show. Randy came, I was like, "Randy, oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but like, what what was like, what was what was do like actually being at WrestleMania like? Like, is it the same as watching on TV with a bunch of friends? Like, honestly. Well, I mean, the very first one I went to, I was by myself. I didn't go with anybody. You know, it was just a solo trip. I went to uh, out there to Santa Clara. is in the 49er Stadium. They did that. And that was um, the one where Seth Rollins cashed in on Brock and uh, Roman Reigns. So that was my first WrestleMania. Holy shit. And I went there by myself. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know the area so much. I've been to Cali before, but I'm not particularly that part. Mm-hmm. And what's cool about... WrestleMania in general is just, you know what everybody is there for. So it's like, I went there, I found my seats and I sat down and everything. I had my big ass title belt and shit. And, As you should. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then the people behind me were like, oh man, that's a cool belt. And then I was like, I know you're here for wrestling. You a wrestling fan like me. And I was like, here, hold it, try it, whatever. And then we have a conversation about that. And that was in what? I forget what year that is. That's twenty forty nine er stadium. I can't. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, around that time, I stopped watching. Like, it's twenty sixteen, I, I think. I think. I think WrestleMania twenty three was probably like the last one where I was like paying attention and like caring, because I would never. I'll never forgive the Brock Lesnar, Bill Goldberg. Yeah. Match. Like I'll, I. To, like I'm. I appreciate them running it back, but like to this day, I've lost. I've never been hurt so bad mm. by a match in my life. I've never been like, and Man, I, you know, fuck. It was like, mm. bro, cause I, you know, and, and, and that, that's when like, you know, the internet was really like fucking shit up and like, you know, Brock and Bill don't give a fuck. I remember like we made them villains. We were so mad. Like when we did the video game shit, we made, we made it, we literally created the tag team. We called them Brock and Bill. They were like, fuck these guys. And they were like, they'll come out and just suck. And we'll just be so mad at them, dog. It was like, y'all, y'all ruined, y'all ruined what should have been the great. Cause like we, bro, we it was like searching for Dragon Balls, trying to find a place where we could watch that shit. Because uh Buffalo Wild Wings was doing some weird shit where we couldn't watch it there. And like we had to like beg somebody with cable, because we didn't have cable. <laughs> I understand. We had to beg somebody to like get the pay-per-view, and then we had to like try to get to that place on time. It was a lot. We we went through so many hoops. And then when we finally were getting there watching that match, but we're just like, this is not, it was, it was one worth a goddamn. I think the, but thank God, that was like a triple threat match with uh, Benoit, Michaels, and Triple H, I feel like. I believe, yeah. So that was dope. 
Yeah, I think Eddie Guerrero and Angle. I'm not 100. percent I can't my, remember. My wrestling I can't is weird. But that no. WrestleMania, I believe, was a uh, 2016, 2015, 2016, or something. What was the? Uh... But the I sat in that area and I met those guys. You know, we were just talking about the show and everything. And then I still, till this day, talk to those two dudes. That's what's up. Goddamn Nate and Randy. That's what's up. And that's uh, what's up. And we keep it up with each other on Facebook. I'll try to invite them on the um the podcast not too long after that. But uh Nate is freaking super busy. He had a big giant ass baby boy, man. It's just like this 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 kid is huge. This is the biggest baby I ever seen in my life. Yeah, damn, size of a watermelon, just, yeah. just big, man. Big buff baby. Just <laughs> gave birth to the big show, though. You, <laughs> well, it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, then he um I think what he was he coaches uh volleyball or some shit like that. So he's very active with the students and all that stuff. And then Randy, the other guy, he started a wrestling podcast. And I was oh, like, wow. you sorry son of a bitch. I was like, you gonna have the nerve, the gall, the audacity to start a whole fucking podcast and one not invite me once, two. Start a podcast before you even came on my show first. You sorry, son of a bitch. Yeah, that's, 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 that's blatant disrespect. That's blatant disrespect. Yeah. Randy yeah. ain't shit for that. I'll tell you, if you're listening, you ain't shit for that, Randy. That's wrong. That's dirty. That's but dirty I, as hell. I still talk to him, every, especially like if I post something in Walmart on uh, Instagram or whatever, Randy always making comments and shit. And uh, what about the, the second one? You were like way in the back. Was that the one in New York? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That did was, you uh, did you enjoy that though? Like, is uh, but this is the thing? There's a whole, there's a whole uh, culmination of things that happened at that event. That's the one that uh, Kofi Kingston won the world title. Okay. So I wasn't going as per usual. Every single WrestleMania that I wind up going to, which is all of them up until this point, except for 33. That was the one that was in Orlando, Florida. That's where the Undertaker retired, and it's cemented my <sighs> fucking hate for this whole bitch. And um, so I missed that one. And then, of course, because of the pandemic, I was going to that one and I missed that one. Now, so from 31 all the way up until now, I would have been to every single WrestleMania. Damn. And I, it was never on purpose. <laughs> the no first shit. one, um, it fell on my birthday, March 29th. And my mom just out of the blue, she's like, uh, what's, you you want to go to WrestleMania? I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, um, look up some um plane tickets and see how much all that shit gonna cost and um let me know and I'll pay for it for your birthday. Oh, wow. I was like, okay. <laughs> Thanks, mama. I love you. Mama! <laughs> I love you so much. Nah, I, I ain't never get I ain't never got no gifts like that, bro. Okay. Like, nah, I'm trying to think. On that level, nah. So, nah. She, she looked that up the first time. The Just next out the year, blue. the next year was AT and T Stadium in Dallas. Easy trip. So I was in Fort Leonard, Missouri, though. That was oh. like a nine-hour drive. They ain't it wasn't too bad. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> the way that came around is like my brother that lived here in Houston. Mm-hmm. He just. Call me out of the blue. I mean, when I was in the military, we never really talked so much. He had retired a long time ago or whatever, but we never really had a lot of conversation and everything like that because he's way older than me. He got yeah. he got a child that's a day older than me. <laughs> My nephew. <laughs> so he just called me up out of the blue. <laughs> Dude, I didn't, first of all, I didn't know you had a brother. I'm like, man, your brother is, is, is ancient. He's a whole int. Dude, I have, <laughs> there's 18 of us. Your mama had 18 babies? Up? No, my mom had six, including me, but my dad had all the rest of them with his first wife. <laughs> oh, that's still a lot of goddamn kids. Yeah. But he just called me up out of the blue. He's like, um, where WrestleMania this year? I know you went last year, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, uh, where WrestleMania this year? I was like, it's in Dallas. He's like, uh, same thing my mom did. He's like, yeah, let me um, know how much all that shit costs. And I... Uh, buy the stuff for you and everything. I buy you a ticket and you can go. I was like, okay. Damn. So, and the thing about that was too, I have a brother that live in Dallas and I was getting ready to get out of the military. 
and WWE and Hired Heroes, which is a veterans organization, they was doing a hiring event in Dallas. So I, not even going to WrestleMania, I was going to go there just to do the hiring event and to see my brother while I was down there. And then my other brother called out of the blue and was like, hey, I'm going to buy you a ticket. Just let me know how much it costs. So I was like, fuck, this is serendipitous. This was meant to be, right? Damn, bro. So I went down there, did the job fair. I got to take pictures with Damian Sandow, and I nice. met Byron Saxton, and uh, Stephanie McMahon was the guest speaker. And she look, I mean, she honestly, uh, Stephanie don't get enough love, bro. I'm sorry, she yeah. kind of. I think she looked a little bit better in the face when she was younger, but she still is a, a, a provocative looking. Yeah, girl. she just, uh, whoever, whoever did them today's. <laughs> Those yeah, flotation devices. Yeah, they were aggressive. Yeah. Must put more meat and just, <laughs> just stuff it in there. Yeah, they just, they just, it was just because I, I know the nipples were just like looking crazy, but fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> you know they're like, fuck it. And then what? The year after that, thirty three, no plans whatsoever, and I was just like, you know, I'm fine with it. I, my, my life's goal and my bucket list thing was to go to a WrestleMania. I was fortunate enough to go to two back to back. I'm fine. I don't have to go to 33. And I'm glad I didn't go because that Undertaker shit would have pissed me off even more to be there in person and to see what happened after. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'd have been so fucking angry. But I didn't go to that one. 34 was in New Orleans. And yeah. I was like, I'm from Louisiana. I was like, the first time they went to New Orleans to do WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30. That's when Bre Daniel Bryan um, won those two matches to win the, um, both of the straps. I wanted to go to that one so fucking bad, but I got deployed. That would have been my first WrestleMania in New Orleans for WrestleMania Damn. 30. So I missed out on that when I was like, well, it's coming back to New Orleans. I cannot miss this bitch. Mm. So I had a hard time finding tickets. It sold out pretty quick. But I knew somebody because of the podcast that knew somebody that had tickets. So I was able to get that. My wife bought them for me because it's always around my birthday. Damn, I got bro. that. I mm. paid for the hotel. And I drove from here. And I took people with me that I knew here that were wrestling fans. And we drove to fucking New Orleans. And uh, we watched the Supercard of Honor for ROH and all that other shit. Nice, nice. Just hung out in New Orleans for that WrestleMania. And it was fucking great. No, that's dope. And then what uh, the next one after that was New York. Now that one, once again, I was like, well, I'd have been to three. I only missed one. I, and I broke my streak and everything. I was like, it's, it's cool. I don't have to go to this one. And my wife, for some odd reason, was like, you know, you do so much for us and all this stuff. You know, giving me the daddy big head speech and shit. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you work hard, yada, yada, yada. I want to make sure if I can, if it was within my means to make sure that you go to every WrestleMania from here on out. I was like, what? What is this? What? Okay. Tears. I was like, I, Tears. Yeah, internally. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because The Undertaker wasn't retiring. I didn't cry. <laughs> Let's not even talk about that shit. Sorry, he, son of a bitch. Nobody, nobody stops when they should. Ric Flair didn't stop when he was supposed to because I cried that match. The, That's Shawn Michaels. One of the greatest retirement Send offs ever, ever, ever. And, he, and he comes back <laughs> like, No, Rick, go away, go away forever. Even R knew when to shut it down. I was like, I'm done, but I'm just gonna be this seething potential serial killer at all times in the backstage. But mm -hmm. just stop, stop taking off your shirt, Rick. Fuck, yeah. Jesus. So the one in New York come up once again, had no intention going. And it was getting down to crunch time for windows as far as tickets go. Yeah. So I already had it in my mind that I wasn't going. Like, as always, <laughs> my homeboy Nick, um, one of the dudes that we always do wrestling with trash with, we were stationed together in Missouri. And um, that's where I first met him. That's where we started going to wrestling shows together. We would travel to Springfield and St. Louis and go do all kind of watch all kind of shows and everything that was the most exposure to live professional wrestling i ever had in my life living in missouri mm. and he moved to uh rhode island which is only a couple hours from new york and he's like hey man if you can get here i have a ticket for you it was supposed to be three of us going and uh, somebody backed out and i got an extra ticket if you can make it here 
I got a ticket and a place for you to stay. Damn. And I was like, Fuck baby. Family, I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I got to take this. And I told her what happened. She's like, go. I'll pay for the plane ticket. I was like, oh. So went to New York. And um, it, it worked out really great because not only did I go to see one of the things that I really enjoy in life, which is professional wrestling and the biggest stage of WrestleMania and all this other crap. Um, I got to meet people that I hadn't seen in years. I had a couple of people that uh, I used to be uh, stationed with in the military that lived mm -hmm. out there that I didn't even know lived there. Oh, wow. I was like, I put the post on social media. Hey, I'm going to be here doing this shit. So they reached out to me and said, hey, man, I live up here. I was like, oh, shit. So I got to hang out with a couple of my homeboys and a dude I hadn't seen since, like, 2003 lived up there. Damn. Met him, his wife. They're about to have his first child. It was just great. And then a podcast um, that I thoroughly enjoyed ever since I started podcasting and listening to podcasts, Ice in the Face. Um, they do um, the awesome <laughs> Ice and the face. It's not ice in the face. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know that. I know. I got to slow it down. Because I, 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 I thought immediately about like the, the uh, every end of a bad match of uh, Monday Night Nitro. And I was like, that's a good name. <laughs> them people be chucking them drinks, bro. They just Thor, Hercules, all the motherfuckers in the crowd. They just like, yeah. But it's uh, ice and the face. They got a whole home bar yeah, production Thing and they do a show called Awesome Talk every week live. They have all kind of guests come to their apartment and they record and shit. They live in New Jersey, not okay, too far damn. from where I was. And I made it a fucking point because it's one of my favorite shows and, you know, they fucking cool as shit. Yeah. To go there and be there with them and record a live episode. And we did that. I got to do that with them. I could check that off my podcast and bucket list. And we had drinks and everything. I got... uh tons of cat hair on me because I got so many cats and I was like, why, why, why so many felines? But <laughs> Poof. yeah, that's how yeah. you know you love them. That's how you know you love them. Cause I'm sorry. Like once, once, once your cat threshold is past one, I can't fuck with you. Dog. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a fan of cats. I'm I put my bag down and I picked it up. I was like, God damn it. Once you told me about that gland in the back of their ears, bro, I was like, get them shits away from me, bro. Like, like <laughs> I want to burn my clothes after that shit. But, um, okay. I got, oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. But to cap it off or whatever, the thing about the ticket, what wind up happening, I kind of glossed over it, though. So the, the dude pulled up at the last minute. He's like, hey, man, I'm here. I'm, I want my ticket. So I was like, fuck, I was asked out on a ticket. But I was able to find a very, 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 very cheap one last minute. And that's when you seen me way up in the motherfucking nosebleeds. Bro, fuck a MetLife Stadium. Fuck that guy. I would have fought him. You are better than me. Well, but this is the thing, though. I mean, I already Ooh. had the plane ticket. I already was on the way. It was, it was no, it was no big deal, bro. You know, I was, I was are, lucky enough to get a ticket. You are and, better, and, and it was a little bit more than that because I, I got to see my homeboy. We got because you were so gracious. Him. You didn't tell me this, like, because I, I, I was just like, damn, you ain't in the bag. You're like, yeah, it's whack. But you never, you, you never, because I. That's how I know you're a better human being than I am. I'm like, yeah, this old fuck ass motherfucker came in and fucked this out of. I would have not. Oh, to put that shit on blast, bro. I, there's no way I would have just ate that, bro. But then well, again, yeah. I, I mean, I, I guess, I guess being in the military and like threat of death and like real shit probably puts things in perspective. But I, but my my punk civilian ass would have been pissed. But this thing though, I mean, I knew about it in advance enough to where I was able to get another ticket. So I'd it was slid his throat in the night. I'd have slid his throat in the night. I'd have crept but, um, his house. And so slid we his got there. We hung out the whole weekend. I got to knew the dude that actually claimed the ticket and shit. And you know, he was okay. former military as well. So okay. I mean, all right, okay, all right. So does he have? Did he lost both his legs or some shit. I need, no. I need to feel bad for him. Okay, then fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> so he just, he's just all hooks. <laughs> and, and and pegs is like, all right, okay, all right, just a torso on a stick. <laughs> 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 niggas, niggas in a popcorn machine, dog. Just, just <laughs> but um, I get there. We we hung out the whole weekend. We had a great time and whatnot. Yeah. And I go to this high ass seat up there. I am literally. At you, the top, no, nah, you were, nah, you when you when you posted that shit, because this is like when like I was officially like following you, following you. And I was just like, yo, how do you see anything? 
how do you see? Because even the screens were small. Yeah, from up there, it it was still it looked decent, but I mean, it, it you had to be sitting there to dag on see what I saw. I mean, it was all right. But I know you had been, like hard liquor though. I know I know you were getting drunk. Of up course, there. yeah, no choice. So yeah, no choice but to get shit faced. So my homeboy Nick called me from down where they were. They were in the three hundreds. I was at the very top. So they like the, the one millions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they like mid level and everything. Great seats. And he was like, hey, man, ain't nobody down here sitting around us. I mean, it's still early. You can just come down here and hang out with us until the show starts. Then you can go back up or whatever. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I ain't doing shit up here because we got there early. As yeah. early as they will allow us to go in, that's how early we were. Fuck yeah. So I went down there and I sat with him. Good seats. Still cussing dude out under my breath or whatever, but he cool. <laughs> and pre-show started. I'm still sitting down there with him. People start coming in, filling in seats around them and everything, and I still got vacant seats, so I just stayed. Pre-show was over. The main card is starting. Seats are still open in this wow. section. Nobody's showing up. So I'm just still sitting down there with my homies. Three matches into the main show, nobody showed up and claimed them seats, and I got to sat there, sit there with them on the same row. It was Nick's friend, Nick, old boy, and me. That's the seat order. That's the seats that were, that was how many seats that were available around. And I sat there next to them the whole entire show. So I moved from up top all the way down to where they were in the 300s, close to the ring and shit. And nobody came claim their seats. Nobody said nothing. And I got to sit there the whole fucking show. Bro. That shit to me is like, it was meant for me to be there. <laughs> oh, you were, geez, bro. No, man, look, you somebody looking out for you, bro, at all times. Because, I mean, winning. this whole big-ass arena, man, and out of all the places they could have had a vacant seat, it was right there next to them. Yeah, that's nuts. I don't know. Just fucking crazy. I was like, that's nuts. It's all, it, it always works out that way, though. Like, when it, like, once you're there, there's always, like, a weird, like, cool seat that's available, like, a lot closer. You just, like, kind of sneak down and go do it. Like, anytime there's, like, a baseball game back in the gap, that was always the case. My dad be like, oh, let's, "Let's go ahead, get up, and let's go ahead, and move on down." You know, it's, it's a term that I would come to know from um, Paul Griffin. He's a host of a wrestling podcast that I listen to. I got to attend a, a wrestling show with him in Dallas, and um, he was like, "It's called the ROH upgrade." If you ever went to a Ring of Honor show, there was always seats vacant on the floor, and you always moved down to those seats or whatever. So ever since he told me that, going to a ROH show and we did the ROH upgrade. That's what it always stuck into my head. You ever went to a uh, re re reality of what uh, wrestling uh, thing? No. What? I want to, but this is what happened. This is this is another funny thing about wrestling. You know, I give you all these crazy incidences of me ro rolling up to WrestleMania and have all this cool shit happen. With ROA, ROW, I mean, every time they have an event that I really want to go to, especially when Kiera Hogan was doing um, uh, independent events here. Every time she would come, it would always be on a Saturday and it would always be on a fucking weekend that I had to go to Louisiana or go do some Damn. other shit for whatever reason. Every single fucking time. Damn. It never fails. Even if I knew in advance that it was coming and I prepped for it, an emergency, something happened to prevent me from going. And I, I was like, I don't one. know what it is with me and our ROW. <laughs> I only went to one. It, 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 was the, uh, it was the big Harlem Heat reunion. And... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but like this is back when the the Usos were still independent. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were there, and uh, like everyone kind of knew something was up with the Usos. That like you know they're, they're, they're about to move up. Because I think they kind of announced that they're gonna be moving up. You know, like and doing some other shit later. And uh, you know Stevie Ray showed up, and uh, it, it it was a decent it was a decent showing, man. Like uh, I can't remember anybody else though. But it was like this one guy. He was real small, but he was like. Stage presence, promos, in-ring ability, all amazing. But you knew the only reason he didn't get it because he was black and he was undersized. You, mm -hmm. you knew that was the only reason he was not over or uh, uh, even publicized anywhere. Dog. It just made me sad. He was, he, was, he was up there in age too, bro. But he was getting around. Dog. He was working his ass off, bro. But like, <sighs> I don't know, man. It's like, I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of wrestling, but I'm not. I'm not a big enough fan to keep watching now. Like, cause I, I try. I understand I, that. I try. Cause I'm like, I said, I'm gonna get back in the raw. 
I'm gonna watch this shit, dog. Fuck this. I'm gonna get back into wrestling, man. Not right now. <laughs> it's too well. Well, even even before the pandemic hit, I was watching. Uh, I tried to watch one. It just looked too clean. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, now, see, I, I, it's, it's hard to explain. It looked yeah, I know like, what you. I know exactly what you're talking about. Looked too like it was too clean and bright and 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 sterile looking. Like like you know, it just didn't. I didn't. It was the opposite effect for me when I watch anything that's other than WWE. <laughs> so I go watch New Japan or MLW or some other different brand that is not WWE, and I'll be like, ugh. What is this? Why is it so gritty looking? <laughs> I mean, I like the grit. I like the grit. I like the grit because, like, because uh, whatever cameras they use, it shows too much. Mm, yeah, like the aperture on those cameras show like way too much. You're just like, I don't need to see all the floor mats. Fuck. Like, can we just look focus on the? I don't know, man. It's something about that camera that just irks me, and it just feels oh, it's too sterile. It's too. Well, clean. I, I tell you what. I mean. Just this past uh, Friday on SmackDown, they started using those NFL cameras, the AK joints. That, that'll probably blow your fucking mind. AK I, cameras for wrestling, dog. I don't even know how to how I could receive that in my brain, bro. This is, I mean, I, I'll send you I, later, and you can look at it. You'd be like, whoa, because <laughs> I because I real talk. All I want to do now is watch old New Japan matches, or like remember that one. I, uh, somebody sent me. I think I sent it to you. It was like this one. Japanese lady just murdering this chick. She was oh, just yeah, yeah, power yeah. bombing her with reckless abandon. Like, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm. That's what I want to do. I want to watch videos of banned Japanese finishers and just call it a day. And I'm, you know what? I'm. Pro let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, 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 one of these days, uh, uh, like, like during a week or something. Let's just like we'll we'll do like the whole little thing, the dual screen thing, and we'll just watch banned wrestling moves. And just make it a video, dog. Fuck it. Fuck it. Like, I'm down. I'm down. Because like that. I did it. I did it, but it wasn't like it wasn't. You know, we were just in a house. It's an old video. It was. We just. It was just in, in my house, and we just had it on YouTube. We just. We were just going like, God damn. That's all. That's all the video was just going. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, that's <laughs> Mickey Oaks. Oh Jesus. Uh, uh, oh, he's dead. The man's dead. But, I just uh, watched one the other day. There's a girl that I follow on Instagram, local here in Houston, where I found her because. We were both at the Royal Rumble here in Houston at Minute Maid Park. So I, you know, I was there. That's when Edge came back out of retirement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she posted a picture because, you know, you know how the algorithm is on freaking Instagram. You go to the Explore page and if you like one picture or yeah. you post about you, you, one you're, particular you're thing, they give you a whole thing about it. Yep. So I was posting an ass load of shit from that Royal Rumble. And one of her pictures came up from when Edge came out. And I was like, oh. So I click on the picture. I like it. And I look at her profile, I was like, you live here in Houston and you're a wrestling fan. I'm going to follow you. So she posts all kinds of that shit that you're talking about. Females fucking each other up in the ring, dudes power bombing the shit out of each other. She posts a lot of that shit. And I love that here shit. pretty soon, I love that shit. Um, I'm going to have her on the show and we're going to talk about all that shit. I love that shit, bro. Like, cause like, I, like all I saw was like that ugly ass power bomb. No, you sent me, you were like, there's more. Oh yeah, and you sent me the whole match, and I was like, Jesus H. Christ, because like the fact that she got murdered, and like the fucking trainer comes in and just roughs her up, smacks her all in the face, like wake up. I'm like, you're making it worse. Like, all I can <laughs> see is you're uh, concussing her concussion. Yeah, I just I just see African Will Smith like, please stop. <laughs> like, no, what are you what are you doing? Tell the and, truth. Like, <laughs> tell the truth. And she gets up like, all right, I'm gonna do this, and gets right back in that ugly ass. I mean, and like that. The, the way that she, the fact that the lady power bombs are wrong is her finisher is like, that is horrific, dog. That lady did not deserve that, bro. Like, no. And cause you know, you, I, I think about like Mickey James, like chicks who actually wrestle their ass. Like Mickey James, Jacqueline, uh, uh, fuck Ivory, mm -hmm. Molly Holly, you know, the, the ones that actually wrestled. Yes. Uh, not the, you know, in the diva stuff. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, like, the, like, like the Stacey Keeblers and shit. And like, uh, you know, God bless her, but. You know, but like, you know, you, th you think about those chicks and you're like, man, even they couldn't, I don't think they can handle this shit. This shit is, mm -hmm. they don't care about nobody's body, bro. Like, how much are they making? Like, why? For, real, For what man. reason? And then, like, Japanese wrestling is just like a whole different thing. It's, it's a whole other beast. It's a cultural thing, man. It's just, it's a whole, whole other beast. thing with like New Japan Pro Wrestling, they have their own development system to where they just take them in like freaking... They, they train in samurais and shit over there. See, but that, that that's uh, but see like that, that's why you 
the the people who come here that been to Japan and come back are fucking legends. It's no joke. It's not a game. Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, Big Van Vader, like like even Hogan, even though he's not a good worker, like even he went to Japan for a bit. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like it, it's it, it's but the ones who I named before Hogan, like you just see it in them when they wrestle, bro. That it's like it's all about just getting that shit straight even Kenny Omega dude like mm-hmm. these guys are no fucking joke they work so fucking hard bro and like uh you know I always get curious and I just go down to YouTube rabbit hole just to see shit but uh I think I what, what match was that I think I watched the Shinsuke Nakamura Sami Zayn match and that was like one of the only times where I like cried like of how awesome it was and like the crowd everything Everything about that match was just dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. Dope as fuck, dude. It was like just so fucking electric, bro. And I didn't know either one of these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. And like for them to like to tell a story like in the ring and all of a sudden, I was just blown away by that shit, bro. And like it almost reignited my love for that shit. And then I tried to watch some other shit and I was like, this ain't nope. No, this is not, nope. this is not the same. This ain't it. I, I, ain't I have it, to though. keep continuing to watch this caliber yeah. of wrestling. Every I need to watch time NXT. I watch it. Oh, I'm yeah. not gonna watch it at all. Exactly. Yeah, because it's like I had the, the, the biggest bump of heroin. I was just like <laughs> I was just like laid out. And then next day it's just straight nothing. I'm just like, nah, bro, I can't, I can't do it. But I don't know, man. It, 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 it's, it's. I found out within these past three years, you know, I say I, I love professional wrestling or whatever. I, I, I'm coming to find out that I like professional wrestling. That's I've fair. seen people who love professional wrestling and it, that doesn't look like anything that I do. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, it's a different, it's a different animal, man. Like, yeah, like, 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 like people, cause I am a filthy casual. I am a, uh, a tourist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 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 not even I'm not I can't I can't claim it. Like I fucked with it casually as a kid. Like my grandma, God bless man, God bless old black grandmas in the South, bro. Cause they watch some wrestling, dog. I remember hating Ravish and Rick Rude because mm-hmm. I, I felt one day he was just gonna come in and snatch my grandma up and just take her away. <laughs> and like, cause she loved that nigga. I hated him. But like this is back when uh, you weren't 100 percent sure what race Ravish and Rick Rude was because he had the superfly hair and that big ass mustache. You're like, is yeah. he? He he tan pretty hard. I don't. Cause remember that one time, uh, uh people thought Alex Trebek uh might have been mixed, mm. cause he was tanned up super hard and he had the Jericho and, and the mustache. They were like, I don't, I don't know, brother. I mean, he cool though. I mean, I, I, I fuck with Alex Trebek. I mean, I mean, we'll, we'll invite him. Shit. Come to the bar- barbecue. I mean, he he, he comes Soul Train. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the boog- electric boogaloo for two hundred? <laughs> Chabadoo. The answer is Chabadoo. <laughs> But man, we we didn't turn this into wrestling it's trash and everything. But yeah, you know. I, I mean, cause I, I'll be one. Do anytime you hit me up, I'm about to do something. I was like, man, I I think what what happened? Cause something happened to where it came up. Oh, because I I, I did the pay per view thing, and then like we just went mm-hmm. into that direction. But um, okay, I, I will. I, I'll ask you one more question, wrestling related. Like, what is your favorite like title? The belt. Yeah, what's your favorite uh, belt design, point blank? What is, like, the quintessential, like, because I hate how the belt belts look right now. Well, I hate them all. I hate them all. I hate all of them. Well, I own two of them. I know you do, <laughs> but I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like well, them, dog. I, I like, the, I like the, the black WWE title, the current one. I, that, that's fine. I, you know, I, it's I like It's not it. bad. It's not bad. Like, it, for, from what it was previously. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be like, all right, I could, I could, I could stomach this one, but I don't. Because mm-hmm. um, once that spinner belt happened, I was out. I was like, you know, fuck these belts. The one that I always wanted to own, as long as I wanted, to, I knew that there were, you know, belts available for customers to buy. The one that I always wanted to get was the WCW belt, the championship, the big gold nugget. I had that hoe. Um, we, we had uh, a. <laughs> This is how hard we play the game, Doc. Uh, my homeboy Odie, he's the host of um, New Channel Sports. He fucking like it was. We had a, it was a WrestleMania pay per view. It was the big daddy of them all. Like that. Like the, we've been playing video games for this moment, and he comes out of nowhere. He's like, I "Got something for y'all," because we had like the toy belts. Yeah, those yeah, are our yeah. titles. I got those too. Yeah, this dude brought. All we saw was a big red 
bag and it said WCW on it. We're like, no. no. He unzipped that mug. He's like, whoever wins, it gets it. We're like, people, and I ain't never seen brothers play on two, um, PS2 controllers so hard in my whole life. <laughs> it, it got, bro, it got real. And, that, and, and like the belt is humbling when you see it. You're like, oh, no, I'm tiny. I'm a tiny human being. Yeah. Because that belt goes up to, like, your sternum, and you're just like, oh, shit. These are some big motherfuckers wearing this motherfucker. Like, yeah. Jeez. Like, Sid Vicious make, make it look like a wristwatch, bro. Like, you, you just – it's staggering, dog. The, the, the nugget belt is dope. Like, for, mm-hmm. like for nostalgia reasons, for me personally, I, I feel you on that. I don't know what it is about the Attitude Era Intercontinental Championship belt. I don't know what it is about yeah, that yeah, belt. I, I love that belt. Mm-hmm. I cannot explain it, bro. Like when, when Chris Jericho was rocking it on a constant basis, bro. Like it was something about that belt, dog. I just mm-hmm. I dug it. I dug like for, it. for me, what led me to even buy that one, the um, WWE title. I went. It was that first WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. It was my birthday. On my birthday, the day I was born, I was at WrestleMania, and I'm sitting there in the pro shop, and they got everything in there everything that you could want as far as memorabilia goes and they have this kiosk in the middle of the room 360 desk and wall shits or whatever and they got all the titles that they sell on there they had the european title they had the million dollar man title they had all the belts all the belts and it was sitting there in the middle of all of them that big gold belt that wcw title the one that Ric Flair held and countless other people. And I was sitting there and I was staring at it. And I looked at the price because it was a replica. It wasn't a commemorative one, like the flimsy plastic one. Nah, no, no, it was no, like no, no, big, no. big yeah, plates. It's just the, it's the he- yeah, the heavy plates you know, that don't bend at all. They're all flat and a pain in the ass. <laughs> so I, I was looking at it. It was like 400 bucks. And I was sitting there. I was like, this is my first WrestleMania. It's my birthday. I'm a grown ass man. I pay bills. And I'm sitting there. Always, there's always a chat when you're about to make a dumb purchase. He's like, nigga, like, be like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reverse edge uh, samurai sword. Yeah. I'm, I'm grown. I, b- bills all current. Like, ain't nothing do. No, I got I'm, this. I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm pacing, man. I'm pacing. I'm walking to one end of the thing. I'm looking at some shirts over here. Then I come back and look at it. Then I go over here and I look at a couple of backpacks and shit. Then I come back and I look at it. And I was like, can I hold it? He's like, yeah, 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 sure. You pull it down off the shelf and you bring it to me and I hold it. And I was like, as soon as he put it in my hands, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, this is the one I always wanted. So I, I give it back to him. I was like, no, 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 no. I can't, that, that's too much money for a fucking belt. You know, that's whatever. And I'm walking around, I go enjoy the rest of the festivities there that they had going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just, I'm looking back over my shoulder. It's like they got the big life-size replica of the Elimination Chamber in there. You can oh, get inside wow. the ring. Wow. You can see the wrestling. Wow. You can, wow. And I'm just looking through the bars of the cage, and I can see the bell just sitting there like, oh, just glowing this. and shit. You grown. I was like, grown-ass man. Yeah, it's, in, it's in my ear. <laughs> you grown-ass man, man. Pay all the bills. You do. <laughs> and then they even, have, your like, kids. A, they even have a little photo booth thing to where they have different belts there. Yeah, you can go pick a belt that you want, and you can take a picture with it. And I was just like, "Fuck it, call my wife." <laughs> At this time, I'm a grown ass man, babe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? At this time, they just came out with the the freaking the Apple Watches not too long yeah, ago. Yeah. I think they was either on Series One or Series Two, mm-hmm. and it was about the same amount as this damn belt. And um, I was talking to her prior to this whole thing, like. Hey, I'm thinking about getting an Apple Watch. You know, she was like, how much? Uh, Whatever, yada, yada, yada. See, that was my angle. That was my way in. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I was like, hey, (laughs) what you doing? (laughs) And uh, she's like, oh, nothing. She's like, you enjoying yourself? I'm like, yeah, I'm in the pro shop. (laughs) Are you in a good mood? Are you happy right now? Because if you're not, I'm going to call you back. (laughs) I was like, they got all kinds of stuff in here, you know, because she liked Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose and all them shit. Right, 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 right. I was like, hey, um, I'm getting some shirts for the kids. Which one you think Nia, the baby, will want? You know, I got all the kids a shirt. I was like, what shirt do you want? You want Dean Ambrose or you want Roman Reigns? He's like, well, if they got the this Roman Reigns, particular Roman Reigns shirt, I want that one. I was like, all right, cool. I said, man, they got some belts over here, man. It's just like, <laughs> whatever. Make sure you got the babies taken care of. See, I see what you're yeah, doing. Did a good move. <laughs> 
The babies and you taking care of them. I got. I, I thought about y'all first. <laughs> now that y'all take it, bro. Look. I, look I and then uh, I, I, I just worm my way into it. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they got the belts here and everything. And um, I was just wondering. And she's like, how much does it cost? <laughs> And I didn't even want to tell her the price. I had yeah. the exact price with tax in my head. Of course you do. And I was just like, it's about as much as the Apple Watch. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, Sorry. how much is that? And she just oh, wanted me to say damn, it. Damn, damn. She, she wanted me to say it. And yeah. I was like, $411. She's like, well, it is your birthday. This is something that you always wanted to do. Go to WrestleMania and get there. Go ahead and get it. And I was like, wow. Thank you. Hung up. Didn't even say bye. <laughs> and damn, um, I went. Got gotcha, you, bitch. <laughs> Put all these shirts back. <laughs> I ain't buy none of them shits. They got stolen. They got stolen. All I, all I could do was hold on to the bill. <laughs> so so I, I went. I went. Got in line and everything. I'm getting closer and closer to the counter and shit. The belt is getting bigger and bigger as I get close to it and yeah. shit. And um, I was sitting there and I was looking at it. And I was like, man, I've been a wrestling fan for so long. And this is a part of my nostalgia to see this belt. And this is the one that I said I would get if I was able to get a title. But they just changed to the current title that they have now. It was around that time. And I was like, I do like how that look. And it's the been- black one's good. The, the, yeah. the, the black one, like I'm thinking about the, the red one pisses me off. Yeah. The bl- like, which like, is now blue. Anytime they just stop, just mm-hmm. black. Mm-hmm. Black strap, please. Like the white intercontinental, I don't, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. No black strap, dog. Yeah. That's all I ask. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Do whatever the fuck you want after that shit. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and it's on the shelf in the middle, right in front of me, and the other one is like right below it to the right, and I'm just looking at it, and I was like, How much that one run you do? How much? How much was it the same price? Yeah, it's about the same price. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, I was like, well, it's the same price. And this current, I mean, this is what the current guy has. And the side plates are interchangeable. You can take them off and put different plates on there. That's Work. how they uh, mark the champion. They don't put the name plates on them no more. They have their own custom plates that they put into the sides of. Them. Word. So damn, I, like, I didn't I, I did not know that. That's kind of that's kind of pimp. So I was sitting there, I was like, kind of pimp. I can probably find this one like cheap on cheaper online than I can here. Oh, the, of course. At the place. Of like, course. But they don't have these yet. They don't have these on the secondhand market yet. Right. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this because not too many people have it. So I went ahead and I got the current title. And boy, I got kind of nervous because like maybe a year or so later after that, they on television, I think AJ Styles was the champion. I, well, I forget my time frames. I'm just because it wasn't too long after they changed the design. AJ Styles had it. And he came out on TV wearing it, but the stripe wasn't red. It was black. I was like, wait a minute. I just bought this damn belt and y'all changing shit already? What the fuck? And it was just a prototype belt. They was testing it out or whatever to see how it would look. Because not too long after that, that's when the Universal title came out with the black check and the red strap. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, well, at least I they kept this one around. Now I don't feel like a dick. I, I was like, yeah, they ain't going to change this design for a long ass time. I, so I'm going to be good. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah. So, wait, so, wait, so when are you going to get those uh, custom uh, random plates? I know, I, I know I, you thought about it. I know you thought I, about I, it. <laughs> brother. I, I just need to find the person to do it. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not hard to find, but I, I haven't tempted myself yet. I just... I haven't. I mean, it, look, it ain't, ain't got to be. Look, it can only be. It can be gold plated. It ain't got to be full gold. It could be. Oh, yeah. It could be uh, Tunskin for all for all you. Care, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> yeah, it's scratch proof. Yeah, we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, most recently though, they they um, reminted the the U.S. title for WWE, and that's another one of my favorite titles because MVP is one of my favorite United States champions. That's fair. I want. Uh, I always wanted that belt because MVP had it. And people would always talk about, oh, man, the, the United States title looked like trash. It looked like a freaking sticker and all kind of stuff. But it didn't matter how it looked okay, to now me I gotta who it. held it. I got to see. You talking about the current U.S. title? Yeah. Well, the one before they changed it to what it is now. What, okay, what year? 
would it be? Uh, you can go back two years. It should so, be yeah. 2019. Would yeah. you say that? 2018 with 2018. Bobby Savers. Yeah. Let me see what this whole look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one when the whole it was like the whole flag yeah, the was whole in the background. Yeah, the no, best. that shit was clean. Yeah, I wanted doubt. Ew, what the fuck is it? What does it look like now? Is it like the flag I, is like not pronounced? It's just on the bottom. Yeah, the new one is a big bird with a yeah, flag. Yeah, I see it. I don't like that shit. That shit. Why do they change it? All I have to do is change the font. <laughs> if, if you change it, because the font do look like some old school, and that shit was only for one year. Holy shit. You bastards. See, they just it's they just selling belts now. That's all they doing. That's all they doing, whole asses. They just selling belts. Like, yeah, you know, this is the be- for for a year. You sucker. It's like, mm-mm. Oh, uh, where is that? You know what I want? You know what belt I want? I want the TV championship. <laughs> yeah, that's a that is a good one. <laughs> it's a good belt, but it's the most worthless like realm of belts to have. Like you thought European was trash. No, 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 no. When you're a TV champ. I got to give props to Diamond Dallas Page because he's the only yes. one that made me like believe in that belt. Like, oh, I mean, he's the champion of television. I mean, we, 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 what, what can you do? Mm-hmm. Look at him. Look how fancy he is with his blonde, frizzy ass hair and his hot chick uh, valet with him. Like, uh, clearly, the TV title gets you money. Like, <laughs> 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 you got to have, like, when you were a TV champ, if you don't have my skills, you aren't pushing that title, bro. Because yeah. didn't, didn't, um, wasn't there like a best of seven back in the day between Benoit and yeah. uh, Booker, Booker T, T for the TV championship? Yep. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, bro. And they fought for their lives. Booker T made up new moves. Yep. For the TV championship. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all niggas to fight for the death of this pack of crackers. Yo, yo, <laughs> God. What, what, kind, what kind of crackers? Peanut butter? Oh, yeah. It's on like Donkey Kong. TV champ. I want, I, I want the swagger of a TV champ. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, but hold on, I'm trying to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let me see what this is. That's that's the current one. Oh, what the, oh god damn it! Is... Nah, I gotta download shit. No, this is my my new computer. I'm scared. But I'm gonna do it. Let me just do it. But. You talk about DDP. He was an inspiration for me for a while too because he yeah, that belt, that belt is hideous. I I want that one though, and the only you do why, the, only, the only reason why MVP came back and he introduced that title and he held it, and I was like, <sighs> I want it now. <laughs> I guess I can't. I, I I can't. I can't vibe with that one. Like er, er, everything else, I let slide. It, 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 you had to see in it on comparison. Somebody. I mean, it, it may, but it does not. Like the font, I. Right. But the fact that there's, there's no blue in there, that's not cool. You have to see it on um, Bobby Lashley, though. But he he he's back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. A, I was never a fan of him. Like, I remember when I saw him, I was like, oh snap! Because he, he, he looked started like talking. A, it was the Mike Tyson thing. But. Yeah, because he because he, he looked like a uh, fusion of like uh, my main character and my homeboy's main character. So we're like, this is kind of what we want exactly. So we're like, yo, this is dope. Then he got on that mic, and I was like, damn. But damn, he, is, damn, damn. he is still that big. He still looks like that. He's a, he's a, look. And he's I would, with the MVP. <laughs> I would never, ever, 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 ever say negative, anything negative to Bobby Lashley, because I know that would be the end of my life. And, uh, but it's just, you got to, mic skills are important, dog. Like, they're so important, bro. Like, the fact that, I think that's the only reason Miz exists. Yeah. And like Miz should not have worked. Miz had everything going against him to where mm-hmm. he should not have done anything that he's done. But he could get on a fucking microphone. And it's like, do that. Get on the mic. The fact that John Cena had his fucking day in court, bro, the way that he did the Roman Reigns so goddamn dirty oh boy. was hurtful to me. I was just like, because no. like you know because you know we, we talk about company man we talk about that you know the 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 straight ladies boring everybody hates him and shit but like no one could deny him that day this is like ugh. and roman just eating dookie bro just like yeah. oh, and man, then he tried to be hard and just like bitch and shit so i was like ooh, wow that's 
Then he was like, bells, oh. That's ringing some bells, ain't it? He's like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. To this promo is ringing bells for this promo, and he was just like, "Oh, so I'm a part timer, huh? Okay, if you were doing your job, bro, I wouldn't oof. have to come back." <laughs> he that said, hurt because I can do what you can do better, being a part timer. <laughs> that was, like, that was rough. Uh, and you know that wasn't on the script. You know that was straight from the. And then he couldn't even say nothing back about nothing it. Nothing you can't like, say. He's like, I'm gonna beat your ass, bitch. Dude, that was like the first time the crowd was like, oh man, Cena's on one. Like, the, the fact that Roman did not turn heel then was dumb to me, dude. That's what I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't fuck with y'all, bro. Like, he's finally healed now because they got this whole tribal chief shit that's happening. That shit is great. I'm, I mean, look, I, I, I caught some of it on YouTube. I was like, this is compelling, but these cameras are too sterile. And now there's, and, and, and then there's, and then there's, there's no crowd on top of it now. So it's, it's just, it just, I, I, I miss the like wafting smell of beer in the background with the, with the gates and the people who can just like jump in and murder someone at any moment, dog. Like, I don't know. I, I miss it. I miss Dude, it, dog. You, I miss it. What was scary for me one time, I went to a show here in Houston, the freaking um, at the Toyota Center. And I'm sitting on the right corner by the stage. Like, yeah. I can almost see behind the damn Titan Tron shit. I'm, like, right there in the corner. They got, like, a little rampway that come from the backstage area going toward the ring. And I'm just sitting there watching the show. And Mark Henry, big ass, just come out of the corner, out of my periphery, just... Ooh. And I'm like, ah! That's <laughs> a whole fuck? truck. That's a living truck. That's a living transformer. That's Optimus Prime walking by. It's a, that's a big, big old dude. I'm glad they finally gave him respect one run like that. Because yeah. cause the fact they treated him the way they did was just up offensive to me. Like, I hated it. One of the best promos in the decade by Mark Henry. He came out there in that salmon suit and he faked like he was about to retire and he fucking slammed Cena. I was like, oh boy. Yeah, bro. Oh like, boy. Another it, top 10 promo within the, the decade. The Miz, the guy that you brought up before. Yeah. Um, him and Daniel Bryan got into it on Talking Yo, Smack. that was, that was a good one. Like that, that was, cause you, cause you, like, like it, it, anytime, anytime you, you, <laughs> cause like the pipe bomb, the pipe bomb promo is like you seem soul. Yeah, it's like that. Like you just you leave your body, and like it's just beautiful. You just see blue lights and shit. Like when you cut that promo, so like so like that's like the epitome of of uh, of a promo. And like anytime you see somebody get like a little bit real and just they leave their bodies, bro, and they go somewhere else, dog. It's like a whole nother thing, bro. Like, but like it was beautiful. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the Macho Man's promos, bro. Like the coke fueled, cause like. He he don't know what he's about to say when he come out there, bro. He'll grab a prop. Cup of coffee in the big time is my favorite yeah. promo in the he's history pulling of them coffee creamers out of nowhere. I don't know where he was getting them from. He was doing magic tricks. He was just like, mm -hmm. the whole time. <laughs> 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 go over here and go over there. And then we go over, bro. And then, like, whenever he has his back to the camera, dog, and, and you got, dog, and, and God bless Mean Gene Oakland, because he's yes. the only reason that macho man matters dog, with those promos because like like gene plays it straight macho man's ready for anything oh oh mr sarcasm like he's always like <laughs> bro it's like a the, the one one that he said he was like your mustache is kind of crooked he's like well your beard is kind of on one side too but i was like <laughs> dog, mean gene mean gene the best the best because he Dog, like he's the reason people think it's real. He's he, dog, he he's a Howard Cosell of like of wrestling, bro. Like he's like you you really think it's happening, bro? Mean Gene. It was um it was um not funny, but it was uh the relationship between the Macho Man and the Ultimate Warrior. Um, uh, when the Macho Man passed away, and I think they interviewed him. And he was talking about how he was like a real man. They, they would always meet each other. They would shake hands. His, his hand grip was firm. And it was just like manly shit. And he's like, um, we would daggone drink so much fucking coffee before promos and shit and see who can outdo each other. That's why they always be so high. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we would have so many cups of Joe. It's like, sure, sure. Cups of blow. I mean, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Bro, first of all, nobody. 
<laughs> nobody doing that plane promo uh, Ultimate Warrior is on fucking caffeine, my friend. That that boy, that dude, he put a G out of Hogan. I was like, yo, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get in that plane, Hogan. Hulk, Hogan. I was like, yo, you are high, dude. Jesus Christ. Those are the good old days, man. I mean, I miss... I miss it though. I I I I miss like um I guess the mystique behind it. You know what I mean? I think I think that's why I'm not really into it right now because it's like, you know, and it, it's getting like that with these Marvel movies too, man. Like like everyone all oh, these really? goddamn announcements and shit just fucking up. Like you're ruining the movie for me, dude. Like quit telling me who just wrapped on set. Shut the fuck up. Like, let me have it. Let me Watch this shit and be shocked. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, 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 it's a lot of things. Um, because well, we give out so much information, we're just ruining like <laughs> well, I, the mystique I, I, of all of this shit. It's kind of like the um, it's almost like the life cycle of media. Man, is in there. It is. You see it, then then it's gone. Something else comes in to replace it. Because you know, I'm the same way about it. But like they say, hey, we just wrapped on this film, and I'm like. I'd probably be mad in a moment, but like a week or so later, I don't know, fucking forgot about it already. Well, no, not, not no, but I, I'm talking about like certain casting they do. Oh yeah, where you know where they're going. Like, I don't, I don't like for the sake of anybody who's just under a rock. You know, what I mean, I, I want to spare them and not you know perpetuate the fuck shit. But it's like you know, these are movies I care about, and I'm like, yo, that would have been really great to see in the theater yeah, and, and like be shocked. You know what I mean? Like, why are we doing this? Like, why are we? Why are we doing this? Just stop. Just stop. Certain shit you don't have to report. Certain yeah. shit you'd be like, I'm gonna keep that in the pocket and like write a a really good uh article about it with a lot of uh, robust shit and save it for when it happens. Like just chill, bro. Like, golly, I don't need to know random ass person came in, rap the next day. That means it's only a quick cameo. Like I'm I'm already gonna put stuff in my head. I have I have expectations now, you mm-hmm. bastards. Just like don't stop. So stop it. Stop yep. digging too much. Stop finding out. Oh, actually, this wrestler fucking career is up. So he's gonna be, he's about to do a movie, a six movie deal. So he's gonna be out after a while. So get ready for him to lose his title. Stop. You're literally killing the mystique of it all. Like the yeah. fact that you know you don't know who's about to get over or having the heartbreak of that person that got over leave. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I can't believe he's gone. Then he comes back, and you are you're you're waiting for it. You're hype as hell. You're not like, oh, we're on the street. Oh boy, it's coming back today. Bop, 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 bop. And no one's excited. You know, like they're kind of excited, but they're not as excited. Like, yeah. Just stop, bro. Like, I, I understand y'all have, you know, ad revenue and shit to push, but how about you just write some fucking articles on some shit that's happening and stop? Yeah. See, well, sorry. And it's, just, <laughs> it's just, it's frustrating. As far as, as far as wrestling goes, it's twofold with that thing. There's the rumors and the dirt sheet joints or whatever. I mean, they got all that crap out there. And then, um, it's, far as WWE goes, they ass backwards, for lack of better saying. Oh, you're talking about how they are, how they are with their Twitters and shit and how they It's like- just like they'll put some shit that is freaking he- that ties into what they're doing on TV like heavy. Like some key information, some shit that you would like make this make sense on television. But they put it on their dot com website, or they'll bury it in some other type of social media, and not let it be on a Twitter. Should have been on television. Yeah, you know, and the shit that should not be on television that could have went on dot com, they don't do it. It's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I know what you're talking about because 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 you already know what that is. That's corporate. They're like, hey, we gotta we are, our website aren't are getting as much hits as they should. Okay, well, how about we put all our important shit on the website? And blah, blah. Like, thanks, Vince. Keep keep doing you, Vince. Just go away, Vince. Like the fact that Shane has not been running it or uh, uh, Lewinsky, like wh- whatever uh, Hunter's real name is. Yeah. Like the fact Paul. that neither one of them are run- Paul. Like, like the fact that Paul and Shane, neither one of them are like running it, like fully and truly, is just horrific. Shit. Shane left the company, went to China, started his own company, successful, then came back and then started doing this shit again. Cause like, cause like one, like like one thing, one thing you can't, you cannot deny Shane is like the respect, the fact that he went through the meat grinder for no reason. He didn't have to do any of this. He didn't have to put his body through any of that, bro. I think the that fact was that it, like respect the fact, type shit. The fact that his neck is forever inflamed, bro, is just like you know you. 
come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Let 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 him run it. Or let I mean, now granted, I like Triple H. I like the I like the leather jacket on denim version of Triple H. That was my favorite iteration of Triple H when it was uh the my time theme. Like, wah, wah. Like that was that was my favorite version of Triple H because it was like because I, <laughs> I was around at the point in my time where I was like it was people that I ran with I don't I don't even be running with no more and I, I was like striking out on my own uh, I was I was like yeah I feel you Triple H stand them lights <laughs> but you you one man you're one man army I mean you you got you got to break free you got to break free sometimes so like I identify with Triple H and then once he was like I'm the game I was like that's dope but then when he shaved his face. And start doing evolution. I stopped liking him. Yeah, trips need his beard at all times, bro. Like, <laughs> like shave trips. Just well, he got it the... now. He shaved off his hair, though. I know, dude. The fact that him and Shawn Michaels are like in the same vicinity, shaved. I, I need to go somewhere. Y'all need to stop. Both of y'all need to stop. Both of y'all need to just stop. Shawn Michaels, put a hat on, bro. Start wearing hats. Dude, that's all he wear hats now. Because he somebody told him then. Because I saw him without one. I was like, you look sad. Like. Because he always, for a long time, he had that oh. ball spot right there, and always covered it up, and yeah. you know had the cow. That one time, the one time he's like, my, my back got hurt when he come back with that cowboy hat. You knew, you knew what was happening, mm. or that little backwards cap. You knew what was going down. Yeah. So you he daggone shaved all his hair off. Does, does Marty Janetti still have his hair? <laughs> yeah. Marty Janetti still got his shit, hmm. but um, he he trimmed his hair into like a little freaking Hank Hill haircut, Shawn Michaels. And he still had the ball spot. Mm. He said he did it for a movie. And then he shaved it off completely. He's bald head like us. Well, yeah. like me. You still got hair. No, like no. me. No, you got it. It's just, it's just it's that regrowth. You got a, you got like an edge. Oh, no. But does. like all right here is just like, I don't know. God was so cruel. Because it's like only short people will think you have hair. And it's like, why, <laughs> God? Why would you do this to me? Because I... Uh, uh, the most painful part was like realizing that I was losing it because I thought my clippers were messed up mm-hmm. and I just, I didn't accept it. I was like, Oh man, my, that's weird. Why is it, why is it impetuous? How come this part can get cut so smooth, but this other, and then once it hit me, bro, I, I almost fell to my knees dog. Cause it, it, I knew I was gonna lose my hair one day. Yeah. Just not now. <laughs> not, not in such a fashion to where I was in denial. I thought, I thought I'll see it coming. I thought I had like the receding hairline at least. Nah, he's like, I'm gonna go reverse bitch. <laughs> You're gonna get a fucking south side fade naturally. <laughs> it's the worst, dog. It's the goddamn worst. So when it, when did it hit you though? Um, about thirty. Oh, so probably, you had more time with your shit. About thirty. Oh, damn, we got hit earlier. Oh yeah, man. I was like in my twenties, dog. Who? I was Whew. like, yeah, like thirty three, twenty five, twenty six. It's hilarious. Little soon, my son was like born. Is when it started getting real, but like I was, it was some stressful times, man. So I think I think a lot of it was stress induced. Well, that's natural because my uh, my dad's bald as hell. Mm-hmm. Shit, well, he started losing his like got all 30s. his shit. Yours? Yeah, I mean it's a little thinner than what it was, but it, he can go get a haircut and shit. Dang, bro. You <laughs> know what like, though? But 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 did you did, were you the, were you the dude that had like the hairline back here and still get it edged up? Oh no no no! I, I had a homeboy that did it. I'm I'm so glad he stopped because uh, that edge up was going. Oh, all the way back. Mine was mine was almost like a clock and shit, man. It was just like <laughs> it started doing like this. It was like tick tick tick. So it'd be straight, then it would get right here and it start. <laughs> I was like, nah nah, this gotta go. <laughs> it's counting down. It's like, hey player, you only got so much time left. Nah, my mine is like a dude. Hemorrhage. He did like this. It's like it goes straight, then it go that way. <laughs> Oof. Oof. So you had like the you had like the old school conk. You could have been like <laughs> you could have just done... <laughs> as a little little do up, little do up party. <laughs> Be out there in front of freaking flaming barrels and shit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I just like I went on deployment one time and I was just like the barbershop was full and I was just looking at myself in the mirror. I was like, fuck it. I grabbed the razor. See, I, I, like what's funny is like my, my dad my dad who's like you know he's ex-military he was cutting our hair um for like a while so like aggro always was my uh, he's like i only know one style is off and i was like fuck because i had um i had a barber that i trusted and i loved him he was the best he was like oh man your great hair is easy hooking me up all the time he left 
And I went to this other guy, and he did me so dirty, dude. Like, I had the bar log, bro. Like, he went overboard with my edge up. And I was just like, I, I remember back in the day where they had, like, those Tommy Gear skull caps. And I wasn't supposed to wear it at school. And I was like, I, was, I, t- I told my AP, I was like, for the love of God, please. Because I'm in high school. Yeah. I was like, bro, you got to let me make it. You got to let me make it. Dog. He was like, why? What, what, what's the big deal? What's going on? And I showed him. He was like, okay, I'm going to tell the other APs to chill on your thing. It was, it will say it's religious reasons. I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, you. I was like, you got lice. <laughs> bro, because dog, he knew, he knew that I was going to be in like 17 fights. Because <laughs> it was, bro, my hairline. I don't I never understood well, that either. You be so mad at the motherfucker to the point of violence. Cause no, because you have to, to survive. Because you, can't, <laughs> you know? this, this ain't this ain't the anti-bullying campaign days of now. Like this was this was like post nineties. Everybody, you got to get shot to get a record deal at this yeah. point in time. Like, like I, you your shoes fight. is trashed. Fight me! I will <sighs> kill you. Like for for just for the sake of like not getting just punked out every day. Because if you if you don't show that you're willing to like kill somebody, you're doomed. You're doomed. Like, like the only people who bullied me were like legitimately like people who were held back too many years and were in gangs. Yeah. And it was like, all right, I have people who have actual criminal records that can bully me. I'm I'm safe now. Like, well, I'll I'll, de- I'll deal with that some other way. But I can't have Just you know the, the kid, folk. <laughs> yeah, the kid eating chocolate cake every day beating me up, bro. Like, that's, I can't have that. Can't have uh, pots of McKenzie fucking me up. That's some bullshit. So I, you know, I I got at least I ain't bullying nobody. Yeah, you know what I mean, but you know, I, I, I ain't look. I just want to go home with my drawers the way that they were when I got there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and my shoes still on my feet. That's all. I was the goal. I was like, if I could can, uh, remember that show on Nickelodeon, Wel- Welcome Freshman. I think so. On Nickelodeon, Scar Me for Life. I was like, man, freshman's getting their ass beat every day. Not me, bro. I I need to find a picture of my freshman year. I was bro, mean bug to the max. Mean bugged. Who the, nobody fucked with me, dog. My nickname was Anger Man because I, I I mean mug so hard for my own protection, dog, that they just did not. They, everybody was like, yeah, I think he's crazy. And like I hung out, I hung out with my homeboy. Uh, uh God, I forgot his last name, but uh, they called him Crazy Johnny because it's it's a bunch of Johns. So it was like that's Crazy Johnny, Angry Man, and like we'll hang out and freestyle together and shit. But it was just like we were safe. Cause it was like I don't know I don't know what kind Man of shit they're on. on orbit over there. Yeah, just... crazy Johnny tall as hell. Uh, this is dark motherfucker like just mugging all the time. We'll leave them alone. Unfortunately, as far as like hanging out with girls, I destroyed that. I ruined it. Yeah, too busy trying to be hard. Didn't figure out how to like be funny or charming and shit. So yeah, I just I ain't get beat up, but I ain't get to beat nothing up. <laughs> I didn't get beat down, but I didn't get to beat them down. <laughs> my draws are intact, but my draws are intact. <laughs> yeah. I was always hard, but I couldn't get hard with a broad. <laughs> I was always, always hard. <laughs> oh fuck. <sighs> we we don't we don't went all over the gambit and everything. And, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this podcast that you're sporting illustriously on your chest called the Cold Forty Five Podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's uh, one of my favorite podcasts. Is one of the ones, I, and I've told you, and I've told everybody that within the sound of my voice that you know I see something in it and I support it and I wish great, great, great things for you and Randy. Um, nah, man. I, like 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 real talk. Be um. You've like always been like very, very fucking supportive, man. And like it, it, it means I, I can't I, I can't express to you how much it means to me, man. Like you have been like a huge like help. Um definitely an inspiration as far as like what I need to do as far as like stepping up. You know what I mean? Like like you you're always there to kind of like set the watermark and like the benchmark of like what else we can be doing to kind of grow our channel and other other shit. So you like, you know, whether you knew it or not, you you've been like a torchbearer like throughout man and uh you've been very like open and very helpful dude and, like i'm forever grateful to you for that man like seriously bro like you're a cool dude man like once i found out you're from louisiana too i was like bet Might all be day somewhere in there <laughs> well, i wouldn't be shocked you got, you got so many goddamn family was floating around somewhere somebody married somebody <laughs> 
But my, um, my nah, man, like a bit of a whore, but you can say whore because it was all from one woman. Nah, my uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he didn't belong to the streets. No, nah. he just, he just he's like, to the sheets. oh, you don't want me in the streets? <laughs> okay, you you gonna be sorry? <laughs> like, <laughs> you won't let me go out. Well, hope you don't like shoes. <laughs> and, uh, I hope you I hope you hate shoes because you ain't wearing them motherfuckers. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. No, but real talk though, dude. Like I, I, I always, always, always appreciate your support, man. Like that's why like, anytime I try to do like anything, dog, I'm like, nah, my, my boy B, he got he got to come through. We got it. Like somehow, some way, bro. Like I, I gotta like bring up the people that like support. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I just I appreciate you, bro. Like I, I, I'm looking forward to doing more shit with you in the future. Cause next month we're gonna be doing the the Halo shit yet again. Yes. Um, I, and we gotta I, figure out a time uh, next week to, here. Do, <laughs> to do the the band finishers and shit. That's yeah. gonna happen. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm you, you, you're the homie, bro. So like, I, I appreciate you, dog. Yeah. So um, I got some questions here. It was just uh, I think like five of them because you you do have a co-host, Randy. Yeah. Who has also aided to the success of the Code Forty Five podcast? Absolutely, absolutely. And, um, Big shout out to Randy. Yeah, yeah. I've been hanging and banging for a while so i wanted to kind of do like this odd couples questions thing or whatever i asked oh, yeah, some yeah, questions yeah. about like, him like, or whatever like, and then like, whenever like, i get him on here i ask him the same question like the married about. couple like the, yeah yeah the, 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 yeah okay <laughs> so i mean i just thought of this shit a little while ago while we was talking <laughs> no, that's dope no that's, that's i like this shit that's dope but uh i don't know fuck up but let's since, do it since you are a movie podcast as far as it concerns with randy what is his favorite movie genre Oh, sci-fi. Sci-fi. All right, let me put that down. What is his favorite movie? Mm. Ooh. It might be Back to the Future. All right. Which you have never seen. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I know. All right. Mm. No, 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 no. It's Fight Club. All right. I put an asterisk about it back to the future, but I put okay. But it's Fight Club. It's Fight Club. All right, Fight Club. I hope so. <laughs> I, remember, I remember me and Adamant about that one time when we did it. Who is his favorite actor and actress? Damn, I don't so know. So you can either give me one or both. It doesn't matter. Oof. Mmm. Mmm. Shit. I don't know. Actress. I'm going to say Karen Gillan. All right. Karen. Karen with the with the Royal K or the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that another? How can you spell Karen? I don't see. Yeah, I, I guess. Why couldn't you? I guess Karen. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> with a K. Karen what? Karen Gillan. The redhead chick from Doctor Who. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, a dream guest that he would like to have on your show. Time out. Run, run that back. Uh, David Tennant. Can I not I, I think about it? For the uh, actor? Uh, yeah. David Tennant. Just ha have him on both ends. Yep. David and what, 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 what was the next question? If you can have anybody on your show as a guest, who you think Randy would pick? Fuck. That's a good question. Oof. I feel like, we answer, I feel like he answered that one time. Maybe John Barrowman. John Barrowman. If not David Tennant. <laughs> <laughs> I put an asterisk by that too. Damn, that's a good that's a good question. Barrowman. All right. And if you could make a movie, what would it be about? <laughs> it, it was gonna be like the black version of a uh, Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. That's what he was. Uh, <laughs> that's what he's working on. But <laughs> so it, may, it might it might be that because he's in the middle of trying to get that done. But he is uh, he has hit a hard brick wall. All right, I got it. So whenever you you know the questions now. So okay. whenever we get him on here, we'll see what he say. Um, hopefully we can get together for a third episode. Yeah, 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 for sure. 
And um, we kind of reveal those things if y'all hadn't listened to the episode yet. By then. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Probably Let's wrong as fuck on most of those. I know. I know the first two probably got it, but yeah, I know I sh- probably shit the bed on a lot of those. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Now really you need don't. to reevaluate your relationship. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> it could have been Idris Elba too. It, it's a, it's such a toss up. Because mm-hmm. there's certain guys we'll be like real big on for like a while, then we'll move on to somebody else. So it's kind of like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like wrestling. I mean, you yeah. got your guy that you stick with all the time and then something new come up or you see somebody else doing a different gimmick and be like, I like that now. <laughs> exactly, 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 bro. But as far as your hopes for Coke 45 or whatever, I mean, you got a lot of dreams and aspirations and anything, but if there's one thing that you could do that, you know, say the budget came in for it or whatever the circumstances is, if there's one thing that you can add to the show that you think would take it to the next level, what do you think it would be? Um, the pandemic being over being one. Too. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like having an actual set and being able to have a uh, staff of people like help us record and edit the stuff. Yeah, so yeah. all we can do is just create the content and be ex- executive producers and just have that shit go. That's That's what I would want. You know what I mean? Because it's like, uh, you know, we, we're we doing the shits now, but it's like, it's hard because we're also the ones having to edit the shits, yeah. the shits out. And like, you know, I had, um, I got, oh, I'm backlogged on so many Twitch videos. It's not even funny. Like, yeah, uh, man, it's I, just, that, that's why I was kind of telling you about this shit, have the clips enabled. Because if you got the, enough people showing up or whatever, you'd be like, clip that. And they'll do it for you and you can just drag and drop <laughs> it's still i mean no because like even even with that it's, it's still a pain in the ass because um as far as like uh when the because like they fade away after a while i didn't know that i didn't yeah. i know your, i know your twitch videos disappear yeah you so gonna like, make them highlights to make them stay right and uh, i didn't know that but um yeah so like i mean i'm 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 telling the story for the most part from for somebody so like I, I, i'm good i just need to probably dedicate this week and probably next week to um because like like me and randy rotate editing duties mm-hmm. so like uh, i've just been caught up uh especially doing like the halo shit uh that 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 just pushed all that shit out the fucking way but uh yeah it, it, a staff having an actual staff to help me edit this shit will be fucking dope be dope so dope but we are nowhere near that <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near that shit. Jeez, but you, 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 I, I believe you get there uh, on some level. I, I, I believe. I don't know because I, w- 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 I mean, like somebody has to be okay with getting paid trash. You know what I mean? Like they, I mean, like twenty bucks <laughs> a month. <laughs> like I mean, trash. Like they got to be down. Like because, like I talked to Ray. I said it's probably, it, it'll have to be like a die-hard fan. Like it's like the only way it'll work right like an unpaid intern fan or some shit like this is the only way i can see that shit like legit working but uh now who knows <laughs> who fucking knows bro yeah. who knows because it, it, it took me a while to like give up the range of editing like you know that was like a big deal for me uh the first time i let randy do it it was just like uh, well not let him do it like he asked he, he was like please stop bitching give me an episode to edit and i was like oh all right here fine yeah and uh, he did. He did a great job because he uh, he actually gave a shit enough to like listen to every single episode post recording, so like he knew like the you know the way that yeah. like, like Randy has been incremental to like the growth of the fucking show, like hands down, dude. Like it's not even funny. It's not even fucking funny. I don't think he realizes sometimes. I I remind him as much as I fucking can. <laughs> but that motherfucker, dude. Yeah, he is. Big fucking help, dude. Like the, the channel wouldn't have, wouldn't have grown as much as it has without his like help, man. And like it was sheer luck, sheer luck that I got him, bro. Crazy shit. I don't think it was luck, man. It was meant to be. I mean, yeah, but like, uh, dude, like so much went wrong. <laughs> it's, 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 it was. I, hey, I feel man, like I t- look at all my WrestleMania stories. I know, it's right? All in the place. <laughs> that shit is nuts, dude. Like that many times in a row that you 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 weren't like I'm a I'm going to not once. The one time you said it, you didn't go. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you're like, man, I'm not going. It's like, hey, well, here's you gotta go. You gotta be there. You, you, you gotta be a part of the fucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, this oh, cake shit. is delicious. I don't know. <laughs> I know. 
What the shit was that? Man. It's been a pleasure to have you here. This is no been a pleasure to be any on. other conversation that we would have. When we no, were yeah, here. this is, yeah. Right so y- y'all are just privy to some <laughs> basic ass. <laughs> be like, I'll, I'll be at, um, just get a random phone call. Be like, hey man, you busy? Like, nah, you know, like an hour yeah. and a half later. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> so like, this is, this is, this is like, this is easy work for us. Sorry, yes. y'all. <laughs> I know I, I wanted to be more focused on the show and talk about that, but I was like, "Fuck it." I mean, who cares? Like, it's, it's like we talk like we talk about movies. Well, yes. whatever that movie is, we'll talk about it <laughs> at length. The end. Like, there's that much. I mean, like, what else? You know, we don't really, you know, whatever. We just whatever. You know what I mean, <laughs> it's it's because I hate when people ask me questions about like, you know, theater trends and shit. Because I don't, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I just. And I think I that's just, the last thing that you would want to ask somebody that kind of like does a profession. It I mean, happens. It happens. You know, it, it makes sense to ask these questions. It makes sense. But it's like, I don't care. It's just like, like we're, we, we literally, it's just I, like, it's just a subject of something for us to make fun of. Mm-hmm. Period. That's it. That's it. Word. But speaking, thank you for having me on, dude. Oh, what's up? Speaking of your podcast. Um, sure. Why don't you let everybody know where they can find you on social media? Yeah, that's right. Uh, the, I'm beat him down. Host the Cold Forty Five Movie Podcast. <laughs> Five hours in. Uh, <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Cold Forty Five Podcast. Uh, also have a Twitch channel called Old Man Gamer where I play video games, goof off and shit. Um, uh, same thing on Twitch. Just type in Cold Forty Five Podcast. Uh, like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube where you can catch. If you don't like Twitch, you don't fuck with Twitch. It's okay. All our playthroughs, um, first impressions for trailers, Randy. Uh, we got like several different quote unquote shows on our uh, YouTube Cult 45 podcast again, or Cult 45, the colon, the movie podcast. Type it out in full because algorithms are trash. Um, or on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, Satchel, you name it, we're out there. So yeah, check us out. Pandora? No, not Pandora. A motherfucker. <laughs> they have not, I, bro. I, I literally applied twice. I don't know what we're well, not. You doing. know is you know is uh integrated into Podbean now, right? All you what? have to do is go to your podcast dashboard, hit the button that say distribution, and the boom, fuck? there it is. What the fuck? Look at it right now. I wait. You sons of bitches, because like they had the, what the, what the bitches. Yeah, go to Podbean. I already no, because I already always have it open. You assholes. You said distribution. Yeah. Hold on, let me go to go to the, it should be where the little tab where you find statistics and all that stuff. It'll have one that say mother. distribution. Or settings. Yeah. Oh, there it is, distribution. Motherfucker. So now you can click all them boxes and send your podcast there. God damn it. All right, cool. Well, thank you. If you already okay. got some, already did, like I already had tune in and all Oh, the- I did no, no. I, I I did these. They just happened fucking um. They just haven't uh, responded yet. I did do this. They shouldn't have to respond. It just, it'll just do it. <laughs> okay, well, let me try them again, pieces of shit. Yeah, so just uh, check out Pandora. It might already be on there. We'll see. If you already clicked it, I mean. Wait. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> I, 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 my brain broke. I was just like, what? So, yeah, let me. Um... Look, there you go. What? Monitor? Code 45 podcast. <laughs> Where you see that at? It's right here on Pandora. I'm on Pandora? Yeah, I'm looking at it. 292 episodes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I didn't you, get an email. Yeah, I didn't get a fucking email. Yeah, they don't Pandora? Tell yeah, they Assholes? Don't, yeah, they don't tell you. They just put it on there. <laughs> so yes, on Pandora as well. You can find on Pandora too, podcast. the cocksucking pieces of shit. I'm sitting there waiting on a formal goddamn motherfucking ass email pieces of shit you want me to talk about y'all you ass wipes fucking i'm probably on I, am i on I heart radio shit let's I ha- see i hate y'all niggas man why y'all, why y'all do this to me uh we can find out real quick i mean it doesn't, it doesn't even matter at this point just we're, we're everywhere God i want to know <laughs> i mean i shit sons of bitches if i sitting here Half stepping on the goddamn promos this whole time, man. Y'all, y'all could have uh, one email, one automated stupid ass email. Yeah. Click, click the button on the iHeartRadio because it's not on here. I don't see it. <laughs> okay, big pieces of shit. 
it's frustrating. I, man. But it, but other than that, man, I appreciate you spending yeah. your time with me here. I got I got angry shit to do, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here just yelling at my computer now. But yeah. Where, where, where are you? I lost the, all the windows. Ah, there you are. Hey. <laughs> hey here I am. But I appreciate Asshole. you uh, spending your time with me, man. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Your show is fucking awesome. I enjoyed every episode of it. I enjoyed. That's right, because we had you it. on three times before four. you even meant four times. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because we did a we did a, a special um a special Lobo, I think Patreon only episode because uh, there's some redacted information on there for y'all. Yeah, so. well, so that'd be four and a half then, because we did the Lobo episode and then you, we continued on to the Patreon to talk about the other shit. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That, you're right. Yeah. Could that? Because it was in the right. December area. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made a logo for that, and I forgot. I kept telling myself on December I was gonna pull it up, and I never did. I hate myself, dog. God damn it! I, I know. I know. <laughs> I need to. I need to make like a, a alert for that shit. Anyway, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Seriously, because we're gonna be doing this for another seven hours. Yeah. And as it is for every guest of the Random Rounds with Rob podcast, you've been a guest once, so the door is always open for you to come back to promote your next big thing or just to shoot the shit. Oh, yeah, always, man. I appreciate it, bro. Let, let, let me get that crisp high five. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ah, that was awful. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I just made a shirt for somebody, a little, little kid. Yeah, um, guy I know said his daughter likes when I say the crisp high five thing. So I made a shirt that said I'm a crisp high five girl. Like the Paul Heyman oh, shirts. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. That's, I mean, yeah. Like, yes, that needs to be a thing. You need to make those shirts. I, I'm actually shocked you have not merchandised the crisp high five thing. That's like. I'm working on it. Especially with the DDP. Crisp high five. Yeah, crisp high five. Come on, man. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there, dude. TV champ, bro. <laughs> Inspiration. He started wrestling at 35. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at it, dog. I mean, he looked like he did. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Diamond Dollar Page looked like he had a full fucking life before he came on the scene. You're like, man, he lived a life. Yeah. He always had his ribs taped up too. And I always think that was real. Ribs. It wasn't a gimmick. <laughs> nah, he some somebody worked him over in Vegas one night and just never the same. <laughs> All right, bro. You have a good one, dude. Thank you so much for having me on, man. I really right. fucking appreciate it, bro. No problem. We just oh, we just walk away. Is that